now is I'm sending a message yeah. to okay. my friend and former classmate, Kate Stokes. Mm -hmm. At the time she's in class with, with, with me and her other mm -hmm. friends and former classmates, she's known as Kate Stokes. At the time we were in class together, I didn't yeah. know that she had been on a reality show called Breaking All that, that I never uh, really heard of. And, and um, you know, me and her, her saw like um, casual friends and I didn't realize at the time of class that she had like a romantic crush on me I heard other people, some other classmates talking among themselves about about us and I, and then about her having a crush on us. So what happened is one, one day I you know, I figured out before I could get a chance to tell her that it's a semester party. And she was called away at the end of the party to her job. She had a time. She was like a like a um, aspiring amateur model and part time office worker working at the same yeah, so the same comment that she's a full time professional model for now. Once she got a diploma and went on to college, they made a full time model. And anyway, anyway, um, she, um, yeah, we gave her our email and cell phone information, but she didn't get a chance to give us her email and cell phone information. And a couple. Yeah. And she said that whenever she got the chance, she would get in touch with oh, yeah. me and send me her email. But due to her being busy, she never did. So I mentioned to her that I had a Facebook page. So I contacted her on Facebook, and I let her know how I felt about her. And from then on, she sent me photos and captions on Facebook off and on. And although she didn't answer me directly, she would do things indirectly, let me know she cared, like sending photos to me on Facebook, sending tweets to me on Twitter, and, you know, things are going kind of good. And then later on, you know, we had a misunderstanding that we were oh, due to as an person that she yeah, wasn't receiving any of my posts and messages on yeah. Facebook. And I got something that I sort of regret. No, I, I kind of questioned that, that, that the people running the pages were keeping the stuff I sent to her from, from her. Yeah, I'm proud of her. Yeah, mm -hmm. we worked through it. And then everything's going good. Yeah. And recently she sent me a request to be a follower. Be a follower. Be a follower on my Twitter page. By the time she sent this request to to my email account. Yes, through Twitter. I was at home, I was at Columbia University, yeah, Earl Hall, yeah, at like Math and Writing Lab, and uh -huh. so I missed her message. And my computer wasn't working. Later on, I sent stuff to her yeah, in response uh, to stuff she had already wrote. And then, you next thing I know, you know, I found out about her request two days later. And I was blocked on her Twitter page. So I kind of found out a person who I thought was a friend, a former classmate of ours, a Middle Eastern Indian woman named Susan, put a lie on the internet about me. And this lie kind of probably upset Kate. And maybe that led to, besides my computer messing up, 
that could also lead to the blocking of her. Yeah, because this woman in Susan lied. She told a lie on the internet about me. In the morning. And ever since then, me and Kate haven't been the same. And I just want Kate to know one thing. I care about her. Not only is she a friend, I care about her as a person. And I hope one day that me and her get to know each other better. And if she still cares about me, I would be honored to be her boyfriend. Yeah. Right now, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to get my life together because she did hers. I'm trying to, you know, take the test again whenever I get a date because the test isn't a GED no more. She thought it was a GED test, now it's a task test. So I would be getting a task diploma if I pass the test instead of a GED. And she, you know, once she got that diploma, she became a full-time mom. And now she's going to college, also at Columbia University. And it's not fair that she's in an affair in, in um, our business. And because of that, me and Kate sort of had a slight riff, okay? And I'm making this video message to let her know I don't want anybody else. I want you, Kate. It's been years since I've been a woman, okay? Yeah. I'm celibate. You know what, I haven't been, I mean, I haven't even yeah. been on a dating area with a woman. Never mind sleeping with one. Why would I do that? Huh. Especially not her. I don't want her. Or anybody else. I want you. I've been saving myself for the right person. After my ex girlfriend made a fool out of me and hurt me. I haven't even thought about being in a mental yeah, home. I and I said to myself, when the right person come along and me and her get in a relationship and I get myself healthy again and in the yeah, shape well, that I need to be in and work on myself body wise and genital wise, improve myself, yeah. then that's when I'd be ready to, to get intimate with a woman. Until then, no. I don't believe yeah, in video calls. I don't okay. believe in hookups. If you're not my girlfriend or my fiance or my wife, I'm not sleeping with you, okay? You have to be in a committed relationship yeah. with me before I give myself to you. I just want you to know that. So me and you have that in common. Your honest beliefs, you're raised okay. to wait for the right guy to come along. Whether it's you with him before marriage or after marriage, that's up to you. But I'm the same way, Kate. Oh yeah. I, know, oh, yeah, I would okay. never be on faith with you. I care about you, Kate. I care about you. Yeah. I would never, ever do anything to hurt you. Oh my God! I never do anything to hurt you. I care about you, Kate. You're a good woman. I'm a good man. I, and I'm and. And this like you ain't signing yourself. When I, 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 I get my diploma, when I get my diploma, I'm make something myself. Okay, I plan on becoming a comic book writer, or novelist, or poet. And also, I want to be an actor or a singer. So like you, I'm also humble and ambitious, just like you. So don't think that I'm gonna sit around. And continue being at that place because I like yeah. the work center that I work at. I have friends there and I get along with staff, okay? But I don't plan on being there the rest of my life. I want to make fun of myself just uh, like you did, Kate. I care about you. Yeah, I just want you to know I read some of the stuff on Twitter. It kind of hurt me a little because I see. I, I, I don't know what are you saying yeah. because uh, what is you or somebody that, that have um, holes yeah. in of you. So either way, it hurt me. It hurt, it hurt me when I was reading these type of things on Twitter. You know, like the thing about um, what you, I, I don't know if I'm quoting right, something about what you like or love, or don't, or, or think what you like or don't is their unconditional love. Okay, and then for then there's the thing about uh, the faster things get put there, the faster they can crumble, 
And the little sarcastic, I'm in no hurry to find the Bella Ruby. And great things take time. I don't know if that's you, somebody they paying to pretend to be you. All I know is that that stuff on the Twitter page is like, my God. Sometimes it's, some of the stuff sounds like you, and some of the stuff sounds like this person pretending to be you. I, I don't know if it's you or someone pretending to be you. Either way, I don't like this stuff. It's, it's, it's like this person's picking digs at people. You know, like, like why it's cracking at somebody's suspense, and that's not nice. And I just want you to know you if it was you that said it, or whoever she was that said it, great things did take time. But guess what? Great things do take time and, and, and they're and, and, and they're worth waiting on. Okay? I am a one woman kind of man, okay? And uh, I don't care what that person or anybody else says with the rumors, it's not true. Okay? I don't think about anybody else but you, okay? I mean, you know, you're the only person who makes me feel that way. I'm not attracted to anybody else. I mean, you know, you could wear a New York Yankees uniform with a baseball cap or a baseball uh, 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 or a batting helmet. And put and, and and spikes on your foot and a bat on your shoulder and you still would look hot, okay? Why would I? I mean, seriously. I mean, look at me. Look at you. I mean, why in the world would I jeopardize that? I mean, I mean, just the fact that you saw me as a friend was enough to make me happy. And the fact that you have like a slight crush on me, I mean, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> I mean, I mean, the way you look and and whatever, and the way you carry yourself. I mean, guys are like going nuts over you, okay? Saying all manner of crazy stuff on the internet about you. But if your interest in me is sincere, I'm not knocking it. I mean, I don't know what I've done to deserve someone like you liking me like that. I mean, I can't remember anything I did that made that happen. I mean, you know, I'm used to the friendship thing because I have a lot of female friends. But I did. I have a female friend who actually has a crush on me, and and she used to talk to people about wondering what I was interested in her or not, like wondering what was wrong. It wasn't that I wasn't interested. I didn't know. Okay, you're not the. I mean, you you are such a good person, but you're not the easiest person to figure out. I mean, I don't know how your mind works. I mean, I didn't know you had an interest in me or you had a crush on me. You never told me that. You never admitted that to me. I had to figure it out on my own. And, you know, I'm just letting you know that don't listen to this person, okay? She is jealous of you, and she doesn't want to see you and me happy. She doesn't have anybody. She don't want anybody else to have anybody. And I just want you to know that I care about you, okay? I mean, you make me laugh. You make me smile. I mean, you're a good woman. I mean, I just, I just, I, just, I mean, it's one thing for you to be upset or angry or whatever, but I don't want you to stop caring about me. I don't want you to turn from caring about me to having animosity towards me or uh, acting like you can't stand the sight of me. That's not right, Kate. You know that's not right. You know I'm a good man. You know that in spite of the misunderstanding on both our parts, I don't hold a grudge. I'm a forgiving person. And from what I know of you, you're a forgiving person. You don't hold grudges. Because I saw how your friends treated you in, in, a, in a few of the clips. I saw the original Breaking Albums from season one, where they had you run out of the room crying, and, and, a car, and, and, a, and about two of them cursed you out. They cursed you in the hand. 
And you know, I mean, because I saw what you went through with these people, and they're still your friends to this day, so you're a forgiving person. And in spite of the stuff you go through with trying to get your parents' approval, you still love them. You don't hold that against them that they condemn your choice of career. You love them unconditionally. They love you. And your brothers and sisters love you. You don't hold grudges. You're not a grudge holder. People may say you, they condemn you, probably curse their name, and in spite of that, you forgive them. And please, Kate, don't hold an animosity towards me. If you think I did something wrong, which I'm not aware of that I did, then let me know what it is and forgive me. I'm sorry. Because I didn't do that. I would never, I would never be unfaithful to you or any woman. Okay? I haven't been with a woman in a decade or so long. Since my ex girlfriend, okay? I, I haven't I haven't even I haven't even I haven't, even, I haven't even had a woman kiss me in a romantic way in God knows how long. I haven't been on a date in years, so you know I'm not gonna start sleeping with somebody especially a person I'm not attracted to behind their back. I mean really? I'm not that way, Kate. I'm not that kind of man. If I like a woman, I want to be with her. When the day comes, when I get myself in a healthy condition, and I lose weight or whatever, and slim down, I was thinking of getting a bigger loser. And even if I don't win the prize money, I would get exposed on big loser. And people would see me. I was thinking of getting on bigger loser. Okay. I was. I don't care about you, Kane. I don't want us not to have a connection. I care about you, Kate Stouffer. Uh Katie Stouffer, Kate Stouffer, whatever you call yourself these days. I care about you. And do you know if me and you become close as friends? And then one day I would call her, and then if me and you meant to be together, I would ask you out on a date. See, here's what you need to know, Kate. I'm not going to make you do anything you don't want to do. If for whatever reason, besides Susan's lies and rumors on the internet and whatever else, you don't want to be bothered with me no more, you need to let me know that. I mean, you can't, you know, allow the people to block me on Twitter, but yet, you slip and send stuff to me on Facebook for yourself with your with your iPhone. I mean that's like that's like that's like um that's like that's like I hate to say it, but that's kinda like Jack on Hyde behavior. Part of you likes me and the other part despises me because of a rumor. The person who's supposed to be you on Twitter despises me but the real you the one who carries on her iPhone and goes on Facebook and Twitter every, every chance she get, that person likes me. Okay, don't you know that I care about you? Don't you know you're the only woman I want to be with? Don't you know the day ever came when I get myself in shape and I get in a relationship where, where I decide I want to be intimate with a woman again? Don't you know it would be you? You would be the woman... If I was in a relationship with you, you'd be the woman that I would that I would give myself to. You're the woman that I would break break my chastity vow for you. You're the woman I would get intimate with. You're the woman I'd make love to all night long. You. Even if I had to wait till your wedding night to be with you. I don't mind. If I did, if, if, if you so so into your Amish sexual morality traditions where you will not part your thighs from a man that's not your husband or your fiance. I can wait. Great things take time and great things are worth waiting on. You are worth it. You're worth me you're worth me to say to myself that you're worth me waiting on. Why would I jeopardize that? I want you. I don't want anybody you're the woman that I want, okay? You. I want you. I want to be with you, Kate Stokes. Stokes. You're the woman I want to be with. I don't want to be with anybody else. 
I mean, I'm a one woman kind of man. If I'm with you, I'm with you. But uh, you wait the nerves before you let me make love to you, or wait till I'm engaged to you before we make love, or are you in a committed romantic relationship that may or may not lead to nerves as long as we, you know, get to that level where we get intimate? Doesn't matter to me. It's up to you. You're a woman. We have a vision. I turn back in. Hey, I would never be with her or any other woman. Okay. There are actually people who find my name. Okay, people on the internet find my name and telling me about all oh, these different women, and I and I don't even answer those things. I I, I delete them or I know them. You know why? Because I want you. I don't want those women. Because I care about you. I care about you because I don't want no other woman. I want you. I want to, and, and I want to be the best that I can be for you. I'm going to go and dig a blue I want to lose weight. I'm going to start going to the gym. And, when, and by the time you and me do get together, you're going to have the male equivalent of you. I'm going to have a ripped stomach. And muscles, and I'm going to have lean muscles, and I'm going to work on parts of my anatomy and improve it. So when man, you do finally get God on the date, you're going to be looking at a new, a new Mars, same personality but better body, better condition, more stamina. Okay. You may not want this person that you see now, the friend from class with a pot belly. But the lean muscle man will drive you wild if that's their thing, hot guy. You be going wild, and I'll be a celebrity like, like, like you're becoming. I'd be, um, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be at your level then. I'd have a muscle, I'd have muscles in my stomach like you. I have a lean, toned body like you. The, 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 the masculine version of your body, and you are the feminine version of the body that I would like to have. I give myself, and I just want to get to know you, Kate. Right now, I can't even afford to, to take a woman out on a date unless it's the matinee show before one o'clock. The seven dollar matinee show, Matthew Johnson. That's all I can afford. The most I can do is maybe take you to Red Lobster or Ruby Cheese. There's a former place of employment before you came up. Reality show model. That's all. That's all I can afford. And maybe Red Lobster or Chili's or the Olive Garden or something. You know, it's the most I can afford. See, what I'm talking about is the future, Kate. I'm not talking about now. See, in my dreams, when you and I are dating, I have a career. I'm in good health. I'm in better shape. I'm talking the future. I'm not talking right now. See, I want to get to know you before you become my girlfriend. I want to become a closer friend of you before I start dating you. And I want to have a real good connection with you when the day comes when you and I get in a committed romantic relationship with each other. And it's going to be a while before I'm ready to get intimate with you or any woman. Because <laughs> I want to be in a relationship with a woman the next time I have sex with her. I don't want to, you know, I, I'm not in a booty call. I'm not that kind of guy, Kate. I'm not in a booty call. I mean, I'm not a booty call kind of guy, and from what I know about you, I don't think you like guys like that. You don't like players, so you mentioned that in class. You even begged me not to be a player when I first met you. Now, I was letting you know that I have a cousin of a player, I have a couple best friends, guys that I know that are players, and my cousin, he's like a major player, you know, I told you that. I'm not like those guys. I'm a one woman kind of man. If I'm if I end up going to bed with you someday, Kate, I'm not gonna sleep with nobody else but you. You'd be the only woman I'd be making love to. And what I said 
when I get in shape and I hit the gym and I make myself toned and I start eating better and getting healthy and getting similar, you bet your Amish behind, I'd make love to you all night long. I, I, I go to distance over and over again. And I would even count how many times we do it if, if I got to wait till we're in a committed relationship that might be the marriage, okay? I don't mind waiting. You're worth waiting on. I'm not a booty call kind of guy. If I want to make love to a woman once, I want to keep making love to her. You need to know that about me. Don't, I mean, if once you open that door, there's no closing that door. Because believe me, if I have you once, I want to keep having you until our relationship is over if it doesn't lead to a future where we're engaged or married or whatever. I just want you to know that, Kate. I'm a one woman kind of man, okay? I'm a one woman kind of man. I, I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm not no player, okay? But I care about you. And even if I never see you again, for whatever reason, you just move on with your life and leave New York and go to Hollywood, whatever, and I never see you again, provided that I'm a coming celebrity myself, I'm still stuck in the work for you. I just want to know one thing. You will always have a place in my heart, Kate. I will never forget you. I don't care how many years pass. You're the kind of person that people, once they know you, they don't want to let you go. People love you that much, Kate. You have so many people who love you and look up to you. People that want to be your friend, that want to be around you. Even people that don't know you that well want to be around you. Okay? You're that kind of woman, Kate, that once somebody knows you, they don't want you to leave their lives. Because I want you to know that, Kurt. I feel that way about you. Now that I know you, I want to get to know you better. I don't want you walking out of my life. I don't want you turning your back on me because of a rumor or a lie. You are the only woman I want, Katie. You, Katie Ann Stokes. You, Kate Stokes. Reality show star. Up and coming future supermodel. You. Okay, Kate. You're the woman I want to be with. I don't want to be with anybody else. Okay? I want to get to know you. And one day after we've been friends for a while, I want to take you out on a date, Kate. I want to take you out to dinner. I want you to go on a dinner date with me. I want you and me to go on a date with each other, Kate, one day. After we've known each other for a while and our friendship goes to the next level, if it goes to the next level, I want to take you on a date. To a nice, affordable restaurant or a nice, affordable movie theater in New York. Okay? Well, I care about you. I don't want to lose you. And even if me and you don't become a lifetime girlfriend, don't become lovers or whatever, at least we'll be really close friends and not best friends. Good friends, at least. You need to know that, Kurt. You need to know that my feelings for you are sincere. I'm not bull diving you. I care about you, Kurt. I do. I mean, you look good in anything you wear. I mean, you look good in the fashion model stuff. Like you're wearing speak up not the right way. And you look good in the skimpy stuff like you wore on Maxim. And you look good in the kind of controversial, provocative, sexy stuff like the lingerie and the thongs and the G-strings and the bikinis and the swimsuits. You turn me on, Kate. And I know sometimes when I get upset, I sometimes, you know, they say they'll go on the ring and some sick things that you done. But guess what? I was upset when I, when I did that. I didn't say that because I meant it. Because you know I was upset. And people get upset, they say things that I mean. I love you in the lingerie. I love you in that bikini, that blue bikini that you were on Breaking Armors um, episode, um, episode um, six of season one that you're nervous to wear. I love you in that blue 
blue bikini with a white wave pattern you wore in Costa Rica. And the black bikini you wore in that episode of Breaking on this, uh, Break Me Raw with you and your lesbian friend or on the beach or whatever. The girl that looks like Nikita or whatever. And I love you in a red swimsuit you wore in, in the newspaper. And I love the way you look in the pulse and the retro lingerie. Hey, I love the way you look in that purple and black lace uh, bustier corset with a garter belt and the fishnet stockings. I love that outfit. And I love the one you wore by the fireplace, the retro outfit with your stomach showing. And where you have like an old school bathing suit bottom and top lingerie style. The white outfit, the white lingerie you wore your stomach showing. And for the more recent stuff, I love the see-through lingerie, the black shirt, panties, and bra. And I also love the lingerie that the, the pale peach lingerie you wore, where you're looking sultry in the picture, you're laying across the bed with a stone sticking in your butt with your butt out. <laughs> I love you in that lingerie. It looks so cute. Yes, it's a cute. Yes, it's a cute. Yes, it's a cute touch on you, Jake. Yes, it's a cute. You have a cute. Yes, it's a cute booty. So cute looking. I mean, the skin on your booty is like a baby's bottom. I mean. My God, yes, I mean, skin looks so smooth on your behind. No cellulite, no wrinkles. And you have those, like, red dots on, on, in the same area on both of your butt cheeks. <laughs> I mean, you look so cute in that outfit, Kay. I, I like the way you're looking in lingerie. And I saw the video you did of that when you were rolling across the bed laughing. You love that lingerie, too, the one with the thong where you're wearing the thong stuck in your booty. You love that lingerie. You like. You had like you had a, you were doing the make it rain dance on the bed where you had a photographer pretending like you're throwing money at you in that Dane Crawl video. I love you in that lingerie cake. I mean I never thought that I would see your 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 rear end without being in a relationship with you. I never thought you would I never thought that you would pose in lingerie, especially that kind of lingerie. With a thumb stuck in your behind. I was shocked. I mean, got a girl up in class, but she would never wear anything like that. I'm like, whoa. And I'm not complaining because you are a total piece of town and you have such a nice butt. My God, you have a nice butt. I remember the first time I saw you in that purple dress, you could see the outline of your butt shape sticking out. The dress you wore at the Super Bowl party, that kind of grayish purple dress. I love you in that dress. You had your butt face in the camera. I love that picture of you. See, Kelly, here's what you have to understand. No matter what you do, I support you. You want to shine your behind and line the ring, you have a thumb stuck in your, in your rear end. I still love that picture. And I love the makeup you're wearing in that picture. You didn't even look like it's so bad. You're looking sultry looking. You had like this kind of smoky eyed look. You were looking sultry. The makeup they put on you made you like a different person. And then that's the other picture you did where you were wearing the same lingerie with a thong where you look like your normal self and you're grinning to talk to the cameraman, having you grin. That's the other picture. But the main one you sent out is the one where you're looking sultry looking and you're wearing the smoky makeup on your eyes. It's just so hot, Kate. I like the way you're looking at lingerie. <laughs> My God, Kate, you look so freaking hot in there. Peach on the right one that wearing a stone panty veil. That's what you're wearing because the front part is covered, the back is out, so that'd be like stone panty you had on. Not a stone stone, because stone stone everything would be shown. It's like a stone panty. Panties with a stone on the back and the panties on the front. That I like, but the stone would show everything like the G string. I hope you don't wear those because everything would be out front and back, half the front, and all the back. These are the dumb panties, the front part is covered, but the back is exposed. I like it, Kate. You were doing anything you were. And I don't care nobody, sir. I love I love the way you were along the way. I hope you pull the line the right again someday. I mean I hope you don't show your ass off in the next go around because a lot of people are complaining about that particular lingerie. I don't know if they're jealous because you have because you, you, you have like a 
and the maids on that side. I wonder if they just figured you were acting a little too, too out there for an honest girl. <laughs> I mean, you know, I respect your career choices. I mean, a lot of the other thing in the post, I like that. It's kind of like a retro thing. I like retro stuff. You know, when you get other newspapers, the Bancroft people is controversial to be walking around with a thumb stuck in your butt and a lingerie that I love. That's my favorite lingerie. I love you in that huge pink lingerie. And anyway, at the end of the video, the camera, you know, people's pretending they're throwing money at you and you're laughing, then they make it rain down, laying on the bed, and you're flushing your stomach muscles and they're clapping. I love you in that lingerie. <laughs> And I also love, love you in the seafood, black lingerie, too, the sheer one, because that's the one you said makes you look hot, feel hot in that one. I love you, and I love the way you look in lingerie, Kate. You have the body for lingerie. You have the body for bikini for sunsuits, Kate. I, I, I like the way you, look. you turn me on. You, you make me arouse when I see you in sunsuits and lingerie. Just, I mean, you're the only woman that makes me feel that way, Kate. Nobody, nobody else makes me feel that way. Why would I be with somebody else? I mean, I have a lady friend who goes to church, grew up in a, in a well, non-traditional Christian household on a farm, and you're like smoking hot garbage. Even when you don't wear makeup, and even when you have those little acne spots on your face when you first started off on the show, you still are a beautiful woman, Kate. I could have saw on um, uh, Tuesday that, you know, I could have saw on the, um, the um, no, Monday, I could have saw on that, that I, I could have saw on that, um, that, that I saw a girl Tuesday. And Dwayne Reed, she looked just like you. She had long black hair that you're currently wearing. And she had on these black stretch pants and a denim, light denim blue shirt with buttons. And she's on the line at Dwayne Reed, right in front of me. And as I was leaving, as she was leaving the store, she held the door up for me. I said, thank you. And she's like, mm -hmm. and it sounds just like you. It looked just like you. And I was like, oh my God, I think it could have been Kate. And, you know, it's been a while since we've seen each other directly one on one, so you got to forgive me for not recognizing that view right away. And you probably didn't recognize me either because you were staring over at, at me as you were walking through the aisle. You were staring at me like I look familiar, but would I know, would I know you from? Okay, I just want you and me to be like we were. Two friends who. Really care about each other. And I just want you to know that I really care about this. And at, at the end of semester party at Columbia, I did a poem. I did a poem about you. And Hold on, I'll be back. I I, I want to have to go get the the book. It's not it's not called um GD speaks anymore. It's called on task. And my poem it's like a poetry rap is on page fifteen. Here's how it goes. This is me trying to rhyme. Okay, here's how it goes. <laughs> I really like you a lot, and I really miss you. We were friends and classmates at the time you were here with me. I didn't realize that you had a major crush on me. I also felt the same way about you, but I never got the chance to tell you because you took the test and passed. And you're now busy going to college and working on your career as a celebrity reality show model. You're also working on another season of your reality show that got you noticed by the fashion industry. I wish someday you could be my girlfriend. You're smoking hot guards and look beautiful with or without makeup. 
I also think about you all the time, hoping someday that you will be mine. Here's a being. Okay. Yeah, I'm reading a poem to her. You're also so beautiful, sexy, and fine. And you're also really nice, sweet, and kind. I hope someday my wish will come true with you and I really becoming boyfriend and girlfriend. And then I got a stand ovation. <laughs> People were cheering for me when I read this, read this poem. I mean, I even had guys did a fist about hip hop thing where they like giving me props for this poem. And even Frances, she liked the poem and she figured out it was about you. And there was a guy there that she was talking to some people, and they asked who the poem's about, so she mentioned you, that you were in the class, so that's why it's a message. And there was this guy, he's like, oh, my God, I love her. And says, Francis, so you better be careful. That's Morris's. Francis doesn't do it. She goes, you better be careful. That's Morris's woman. That's Morris's girlfriend. That's a soulmate. He's a Morris to kick your ass. <laughs> Francis is teasing the guy about, about us, you know. <laughs> Yeah, she really misses you, Francis. I mean, every time I see Francis half the time, she's always asking me, Morris, have you heard from Kate? Francis really liked it, you. You know, she saw you as a friend. She misses you. She's always wondering how things are going in your career and whatever. So I let her know I hear from you time to time from Facebook. I used to hear from you from Twitter until your analyst or your Twitter girl who's pretending to be you that sell those crazy sounding things where she sound like she's naysaying people and dissing them on Twitter and we blow because of some lies Susan said. Okay, I just want you to know, okay, I really care about you, okay? I hope that you and I can work through this. I hope that you and I can um, work through it. Because you're 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 a good person, Kate. I'm a good person. Two good people should not be at odds over misunderstanding our riff, okay? I care about you. You care about me. So so if he see this video, you know, let me know what you think. But <laughs> I really like you, Kate. I mean, why in the world why in the world would I sabotage any chance I have with you or somebody else? I wouldn't. I'm not that kind of guy. I'm not a player. I'm a one woman. I'm a guy, okay? If you're the woman I'm interrupted in, you're the woman I want. I don't want somebody else. I want you, Kate. So, you. My favorite fashion model, my favorite pinup model, I want to. The girl who buys all various types of classy fashions with sexy, provocative clothing, such as lingerie and swimsuits and short shorts and tank tops and whatever. I want you. You're the woman I want, Kate. I don't know if you ever received this stuff. I remember a while back I sent stuff on Facebook where we did a laugh out loud game where I would say these funny things, quote things from old TV shows and do references to them to make you laugh. And I did a Taurus and a Jane thing where I said that, that I was the jungle god and you were my, I was your jungle god, you were my jungle goddess and, 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 and for you to come into my tree house to me. I like you, Kate. You make me laugh, okay? And after this riff happened, I was sitting in my room crying, thinking, oh, she doesn't like me anymore, or she despises me, I hope she doesn't hate me. I was crying. I was listening to Carpenter songs and sitting in my room crying over you, thinking that you turn against me because of some rumor and lie that this 
from a classmate of ours made up on the internet. Susan Dwyer, okay? And she doesn't like you that much, and she didn't want to see you and me together. I would never be unfaithful to you, okay? We're not even technically boyfriend and girlfriend yet, and I'm not being unfaithful to you. Okay? I like you. I care about you. I mean, why in the world, why in the world would I jeopardize that? And then, you know, why? Why would I jeopardize that? I care about you, Kate. I want. I, I hope one day that you can be my girlfriend. When you're ready to have a man in your life, I hope one day I can be your boyfriend. When I'm ready to have a woman in my life, I'm a regular, you know, steady, committed relationship. When we're when we're ready for that, right now, well, you know, we can just. You know, get to know each other better, become closer friends, more inventive. When the time comes for us to have a romantic connection, then it'll happen. And if not, at least we'll still be friends. You know. So I made up my mind that I would just try my best to, you know, try my best to not let this get me down. I mean, I've been, I've, I've been so emotional lately. I mean, this, I mean, this, this is really hurting me because you, the one person I met, that really understood me. And... I thought I understood you. And it's sad that things haven't come to this. Okay. 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 I really care about you. So I want to be with you. I want to have a connection with you. I hope one day you could be my woman. And I hope one day that you want me to be a man. And I care about you, Katie. You make me laugh. You make me smile. You turn me on. You make you get me aroused. I <laughs> think, my God, Katie. You're such a, an amazing person. You're a wonderful woman. You're, you're one of the nicest, kindest, the sweetest young ladies that I've ever met. And you're also a really good. A, a, you're also a, a really good woman with a kind heart, full of love and compassion for people. And I like that about you. And I feel the same way. I care about you, Kate. I hope that you and I get together one day. I hope I can take you out on a date. And, you know, I mean, if you still feel the same way that you want to talk about me, okay. If not, you need to let me know. And if you on and if you got up to crush and you only see me as a platonic friend, I'm okay with that. We can, you know, be friends, get to know each other, and see what happens. But if you don't want nothing to do with me at all, just let me know. Now just move on with my life and let you move on with yours. So I'm not gonna waste my time trying to make some woman who used to like me like me again if she no longer likes me. I'm not gonna do that. And what is, I mean, how did I mean that makes me look? That makes me look like I'm an idiot. I make me look dumb and stupid. And I'm many things, but I'm not a dumb and stupid person. You know. 
I fight for something if I know what I'm fighting for. Because if you reverse my being, man, if you reverse me, cut myself to all this aggravation, all this misunderstanding, all this third party crap that keeps coming between us, like Susan or whatever else that comes between us. If you are worth that, I will fight for you, Kate. I will, I will move heaven and earth to have a connection with you. If that's what you want, whatever you want. If you want to be with me, I will be with you. Okay, I will go out for you. I will be a, a, a really good friend to you. I would probably want to, if, if I'm lucky enough, when it gets to that point, be one of your best friends. And one day, if we become more than that, be the best boyfriend ever. You'd be the best girlfriend I've ever had in my life. Because most of the women I met prior to you that were nice to me, they only saw me as a friend. They never had a crush on me like you did. <laughs> Um, I just want you to know that. I just want you to know how I feel about this. Where? Oh. Because um, I just, you know, want you to know how I feel about you, Kate, because <clears throat> me and you really needed to have, have a better way of communicating with each other. Because my computer keeps getting messed up, and, and half the time you're busy, and then you leave your web pages in the hands of other people who may or may not who you may or may not even be aware of what they're doing on your pages while you're busy mauling and going to school. Now I know that the person I, that I sent stuff on Facebook is you because and, I, and, and Instagram that's you because you send us stuff through your iPhone with these people on your web site page and it's person on Twitter. I don't even I don't even know if that's you or not. That there are probably people writing on your behalf, writing and ask you. But another person I deal with on Facebook is you because you're sending stuff from your from your iPhone and the person on Instagram is you because you send those pictures to people's mobile devices and to their computers and whatever. But I know that's you. And I'm not gonna get upset anymore about the Twitter thing. Whoever this person has got me blocked, what can I do about it? And if it's not you, then if someone that you allowed to do it because of something Susan said and they thought it was me and you probably thought it was me and you said, ah, go ahead, do what you want to do. Page in my name, but you run it, block him. I don't care. Because you believe the rumor that something was going on. Even if Susan didn't lie about me and her she could have lied about me and somebody else. I don't know. I don't know what the rumor was, but it was enough that, that you got affected by it and that this rift happened. I wish I knew what the rumor was so I can correct it. And you are the only woman I want to be with, Kay. I don't want to be nobody else. You are the woman I want to be my girlfriend somebody. You are the woman. And I get myself in shape when I'm emotionally ready again to be in a community area so I can be in it with a woman. That's what's right. You don't want to make love to me. I want to make love. I want to take my arms when they make love to me. Over and over again. I want to make love for hours. I want to wake up next to each other next morning and we're going to dance on our honey on Sunday. I had to wait till me and you and I had to wait till 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 you
you saw the car I saw it was an anime. And you saw the hey, we did two saw the people together in a platonic romance. So it's still for the reason you saw the zombie in that one someday. Guess what you think? I ain't turning you down. You need another I'm from home, okay? I'm not turning down no booty. Not even if it's coming from a, a, a church girl, an armor girl, okay? I ain't turning it down. You need another one now, okay? You know what kind of man you got here. I'm a nice guy and I'm a decent person, but I'm not a saint, okay? I know what to do when, 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 when it comes to that. I'm as good as the woman I'm with. If you're good, I'm good. Even if me and you haven't been with anybody in a while, on your case, maybe at all, I don't know. I'm willing to learn. I'm willing for you and I to learn each other how to be better lovers in a time form if we're not good at it. We can learn. <laughs> I like you, kid. And then, no other woman compares to you. I mean, these are young women are compared to you. I mean, to me, you are, to me, you're the most beautiful woman in, in the universe to me. You're one of the most beautiful women in the universe. With makeup or without makeup, you're beautiful. Even when acting in this face, they're hot, okay? You are a beautiful woman, okay? Even when you want a bonnet on your head and, 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 and a palm girl dress, you are beautiful. I like being in your armor's clothes, okay? I probably would have hung out with you on a farm if I knew you did. I probably would have started dating. I probably would have asked you out on a date in all this outfit. And that's how I see you. You're a beautiful woman, Kayla. You are a beautiful woman. Cause see, hey, you need to know that I like you, okay? The only reason I like you is because I believe you like me, okay? If I knew you were anywhere else and me anyone anymore, I just leave you alone and go on my life and let you go and go. Because I'm not going to, because I've been hurt and rejected by women in my life on a regular basis, okay? And I'm not going to put myself through any kind of a aggravation, any kind of emotional breakdown. So that's been happening to me lately. I've been crying over this misunderstanding and being blocked on the Twitter page by the computer or your house or whoever doing it. It was not you directly, which I doubt, because you know, these people run these pages for you. And you have been asking people on your behalf. So. I was heard about that. I mean, I was on the verge of cursing their name and cursing your name. I was upset. I mean, I was like, oh my God, how could she do this in pain? Girl, you'd be crazy about me, and now she can't stand me. I was like, what the hell did I do? I didn't do anything. But I like you, Kate. I didn't. I mean, I just want you to understand that <clears throat> I like you. I hope one day, if I'm lucky enough, and you decide you're ready for that type of commitment, I would be honored to be a boyfriend for you. You know how happy I'd be that would be if you wouldn't be a boyfriend. I'd be a very happy man to have you as my girlfriend. Okay? I'd be honored for Kate Stokes to be my woman. And I would be honored to be Kate Stokes man. Me and most people to be honored to be Kate Stokes man. Me and my people would be very happy to be Kate Stokes man. Okay? I care about you, but Kate. I want to hang out with you. I want to go someplace and hang out with you and spend at least an hour or two talking to you, making you laugh, put my arms around you, hug you, kiss you. Climb around with you. Laugh my head off of you. I want to do those things with you, Kate. I want to have fun with you. I want to hang out with you. I want to see the sights and sounds of New York City with you. I want to hang out at a bar or club somewhere with you. 
I got the mask okay and you know, it was a place for sharing because we were doing a lot of money. We were actually on sale. Yeah, so, okay, please, please, let's try to get back to where we used to be. Because I remember when you would send things to me in the middle of the night. I mean, I remember you used to send, like, I remember, I remember you sent tips on Facebook or yourself in the middle of the night. Like, 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 am, okay? I want that cake back. The girl who's sitting and sending a picture of herself in a blue bikini in Costa Rica before anybody else got it. The girl who's sending a picture of her tugging at her lingerie bra. And the girl who's sending a picture of herself on a push up bra and a, boy and a little cut blouse and a computer or whatever. Blocked it a little around because I didn't do it. Think of the computer after that. You know, because I I really care about you, Kenny. I want to have a connection with you. I want I want to be a part of your life. I want you to be a part of my life. But please, Kenny, don't throw away what me and you could have. Don't throw that away. Don't don't kick me to the curb of a lie. Don't turn against me because of a lie. And I care about you, Katie. And I just wish to God that you and I can see each other again. And we can sit down somewhere and talk to each other. And I wish I had your I wish I had your um your um email so, and I wish you hadn't lost my email. And I wish you I wish I had your cell phone there. And I wish I could give you my new cell phone number because the original cell phone I had, I, um, I, 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 I had, I, I got rid of it because, because it was compromised. I phoned a crazy next door neighbor in apartment 2B that was constantly harassing my mother and disturbing me and her and keeping us up at night. They had, they had, Somehow found our, our cell phone and and, tele, and house phone number when we moved. A lot of stuff we didn't get a chance to move when we moved. And then you had somebody prank calling me, pretending like they wanted me to meet them for some kind of meet them at Salt Lake State in Brooklyn. And what's so funny? The person was acting like. A, a homosexual who wanted me to hang out with him. And personally, I have nothing against people who who will leave all in that lifestyle because I, you know, have some acquaintances that I know who are like who are like that. But you know. And anybody else that should know me, I'm all man, okay? I love women. Even if they don't love me, I love them. If I can find me a girlfriend who's really nice, like you, I will treat her like a queen. I will rush to the ground she walk on. I will kiss her feet if she has them. If you ask me to kiss her foot, I will kiss her foot. I would, I would, if you make me bow down to you, I would do it. You know why? Because you're a good woman. You're worth, you're worth, you're worth, uh, like if you wanted me, like if I lost a debt and you kind of killed it, that's just me. And you kiss my baby. I mean, I don't have a foot fetish or anything, I'm just saying, you know. I like you, okay? I admire you as a person, and I admire you as a friend, I admire you as a woman who has the qualities that I want in a woman. You can cook, you can clean, you can sew. I want a woman like you in my life, Kenny. 
You know, some of the women I met in the town, Patsy's on the kitchen and cook. They could barely make a frozen dinner, okay? I want someone like you. You could cook. And although you never met her, my mother likes you. She talks so good about you. My mother likes me. She doesn't even perfectly like you. She said that you would be a good girlfriend for me, me and you would take my friend. She said you would be a perfect girlfriend for me. It's not that my mother's matchmaking, because she likes you so much, and she feels that you make me happy. <laughs> my mother's rooting for you and I to get to know each other's friends, and maybe one day if we're met for each other, go out with each other. My mother's hoping for that. She's praying to God for us to get closer. In a platonic sense, of course. Yeah, it's my mother. She comes to church, so, you know, platonic thing. She hopes we get closer. And I hope so too. That's right. You're my dream woman. You're my fantasy girl. No, I'm sorry. You're my dream girl. And you're my fantasy woman. I mean, all the qualities that I want in a woman, you possess most of those qualities. Kind heart, have love and compassion for people, friendly, polite, humble. Well, at least you're only the class again. I mean, I don't know if being a reality show personality turned fast, uh, turned supermodel wannabe has made you uh, turn arrogant and, and self-centered or not, but, you know, then you don't have any love. <laughs> I hope you're not self-centered or arrogant because of your mom and dad. And I think it's interesting that you have a personnel call. I think you call a dark K to naughty K, and then there's a light K to a nice K. So according to your personnel, naughty K would be the girl that's walking around in lingerie and sassing people on interviews and 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 driving her father and mother along with your comments and your interviews. So that's like a naughty K. A girl on the thongs and the lingerie and the blue things and the bikinis and bathing suits. She's not a kid, a sassy sounding girl. And the nice kid is the one you know my are, the fashion model girl, the humble personality and the sweet nature, optimistic, sweet nature, humble personality and optimistic outlook on life. The kid that I met in class, the one that appeared on Virgin Island. I like that kid. I mean, I like Naughty Kate too, but Naughty Kate, it, 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 she, she, she really could. I, I hate to say that the much as I like Naughty Kate, some of the stuff you be saying is Naughty Kate. Naughty Kate is, Naughty Kate is kind of like unintentionally getting your ass nerve. I mean, she's sexy and sassy, but she's outspoken and smart mouth. I mean, Nice Kate is just witty and sarcastic. Naughty Kate is like, uh, that's kind of funny that you call this person Naughty Kate, the person you are when you're wearing the lingerie and acting like a bad girl promoting the lingerie line. That's funny you call a person you know, Naughty Kate and then the regular girl is Nice Kate. You also call a Dark Kate, the girl in the lingerie and the skimpy outfit showing a backside and a stomach and wearing push-up bras and stuff. I like Naughty Kate too. She, she's mysterious and she's sassy and she's fun-loving and she's a rule breaker. Nice Kate is not a rule breaker. Naughty Kate is a rule breaker. She breaks the rules and she doesn't care what people think. I just hope for right now you, unless they make you put on some lingerie and Somewhere at the end, I just post this again. I hope you let Naughty Kate be on a vacation for a while. I want to deal with Nice Kate, the girl up in class with a sweet nature girl who cooks for her roommates and, and whoever. I want to talk to her, Nice Kate. I, I, I mean, you're the same woman that you have know, like two different personnels for the fashions that you wear, the naughty girl wears the naughty stuff, the nice girl wears the nice stuff. I mean, you're the same woman, though, that's like a playful way of promoting the line. 
that curtain is curved now and advertised on there and some suit line. So that was clever of you to do that. Create a bad girl pinup model personnel for that. As opposed to a good girl fashion model personnel, which is the real you, the normal you. But you're a trendsetter because there are very few fashion models who actually do pinup stuff. I mean, your fashion model probably the lingerie and bikinis and bathing suits, what they call swimwear. Here, I mean, if you ever became famous, you would also merge in both things. You would be the first model in history to do that because usually lingerie models do not become successful fashion models, and usually fashion models do not turn the lingerie model in the West. Unless they figured their fashion modeling career is not going anywhere. Now, your fashion modeling career seems to be sort of successful, but you did the lingerie and some suit stuff promoting a line of fashion, so sexy fashion, sexy underwear, sexy swimwear. And I have no problem with that because you were doing that stuff. I tell you, you were doing lingerie and some suits. You did. You had a body for it. For those things. But I just want me and you to be okay with each other. I want to hear from you on Twitter again. And you can correct what that person is doing the blocking did, and you can override them. So the page is in your name. You can override them or make them unblock the page. So I can contact you on Twitter. And once you unblock the page, then you can be able to contact me on my Twitter page. But right now, you can't contact me. I can't contact you because of the blockage. Once we remove the block, the block, the blocking, then we can contact each other on Twitter again. I miss your tweets, Katie. The way you're going to detail about recipes on Twitter, the pictures you show on Twitter, like you in lingerie and, and you in swimsuits and whatever. I miss that, Katie. And your really sarcastic view of life. And another thing I like about your Twitter. Twitter, it's your Twitter page is when you were running it directly yourself before you let third parties take it over. You used to write these mantras that you would come up with about how to believe in yourself and, and fight for what matters to you. I mean, I love the way you came up with your own mantras. I call them cadisms. I miss reading your cadism tweets on Twitter. They used to send them to me. I miss that. Like you said stuff like, you know, the worst. Person to doubt you is yourself. The doubt is, is, is yourself. I mean, you came up with your own mantra. I don't know how you did it. You just make up quotes that you give people, like pep talk sounding things that you made up off the top of your head. And that takes a creative mind to do that. And I, and I call what you do cadisms. Like, like, like sayings that you come up with. And I really want you and me to be right again with each other, Kate. I want to be your friend again. I want you to be my friend. I hope one day, if God blesses me and I'm lucky enough, that you become my girlfriend. And uh, if God blesses you and you're lucky enough, you, I become your boyfriend. I want, I want to be on a date, Kate. I want to be a man someday. I want to hold your hand. I want to kiss you. I want to hug you. And if the time comes on a committed relationship, be it one that leads to marriage or not, and we decide one day we want to take things to the next level, I want to be around with you. And that day comes, and I'm a physical shit. Help, better help. And I'm physically fit. And I've got my body in a, in a, in a, Lean, tone, muscular tone condition, like the male version of your body, where I've ripped abs in my stomach and, 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 and I've improved my, and I improve and increase the size of my member, and I'd be ready for, the, for, for learning and activity. Right now, only last five minutes. 
I thank God that you're a good girl because you're the type who's a bad girl and you want it, your man to put out when they get with you. I, I wouldn't last five minutes. I'm in shape I'm in. I could barely keep up with you when you're running like a gazelle. But how much keep up with, with you in the intimate sense? I mean, you're, you're, you have stamina. I mean, anytime you run, I mean, the way you used to run from class, that would be late for your office job or whatever. I mean, you used to run so fast. I made a joke. I said, if you in the New York Marathon, you would outrun, you would, you would move faster than some of those African track runners. And those, and those people, they win every year. African track runners are the best in the world. They always win. They beat the Europeans and everybody else. The African track runners, okay? And you run as fast as them. That's oh my God. This girl could be an Olympic the way she runs. I mean, you would, I mean, you at least get a silver medal or bronze if you didn't get the gold. You would be on that panel. Okay, that's how good a runner you are. I mean, you, you, you are like a gazelle. Okay, but, you know, I haven't been crying myself to sleep lately. I haven't been, you know, I, I've been trying not to get too emotional. I get upset or take what I what I was reading on this Twitter page personal, like the person is attacking me in some way. You know, I get really angry if I were to do that. And I'm like, what did I do? I finally met a woman who could have been the person for me, and now because of a a lying classmate, she no longer likes me and she despises me. And I don't know what I did for her to despise me. Because I like you, Kate. I do. I wish to God that you and I could work through this misunderstanding. I wish to God that you and I could be together someday. That you and me could, you know, be closer to each other. And we could have a connection with each other. And I wish to God that, that you and I could, um, I wish to God that you and I could, um, have a connection because you are a good woman. I'm a good man. And I don't want nobody else. I want you. I would never be with anybody else. And I definitely would not go behind your back and be with somebody. I'm not that kind of man. I'm not a cheater. I don't cheat on them. There have been women who cheated on me, like my girlfriend. I mean, she was an older woman. She was a single mother. And she was constantly cheating on me behind my back, sleeping around with different men. And one time, she got pregnant. And she pinned the pregnancy on me. And... The child wasn't even mine. It was some guy that lived in her in her neighborhood. Some random booty call she hooked up with. And the guy got a pregnant and she tried to, you know, kind of child on me and me and her were all being intimate with each other. Okay. She would have her friends knock on the door. She paid the money to interrupt us. And I'm the kind of man, if I'm with my girlfriend or a uh, woman might be my future wife or whatever the case, or my future fiance wife or whatever. I want to be alone. I don't want her friends in the next room making comments and knocking on the door and rocking up. And she paid these people to do that. And I felt very nervous and uncomfortable. So half the time, we didn't even get into it with each other because of that. And this woman did me real bad. I mean, she hurt me. I mean, she made a fool out of me, and I made a vow because of what happened with her that I would never be with a woman again unless I'm sure that woman is the right woman for me. So I'm not going to jeopardize my chastity for some lying classmate, okay? If I'm going to give up my chastity, I'm going to give it up to a good person, a person that loves me one day, a person who at least cares about me. And sees me as a friend at least and has a crush on me at least, somebody like you. Well, I'm gonna do that. 
You'd be the person I'd give it up to. Never anything else. You'd be the woman I'd give up my chaplain to that I if we're in a committed relationship and, and we get to that level, you're the person I would get in and in and in. You're the person I would get in and in. Nobody else. I don't even see anybody else that way. I don't even think if there's any other woman worth me being in besides you. You said great things take time. Well, guess what? You and I getting together would be a great thing. If you're a really nice person. And you're a very good woman with a kind heart. You have called as I want a woman. And why would I jeopardize any chance I have of being with you, even as a close of firm, if nothing else, over somebody like that? that she's not even worth me talking about. Why in the world would I go on a date with her, even worse, hook up with her? Really? That's how much faith you have in me. I don't do really call a hookup, but if I did, guess who I would? Guess who I? Guess who I'd have that really call? With? Guess who I'd have that with? They forget it. You. You the person I'd have it. You the person to get the really call by the really call. I'd have a really call with you. I'd have I'd hook up with you. You'd be the person I hook up with. If I don't want that stand, I'd pick you. But I'm not that kind of guy. I just want to be in a relationship with a woman who's going to sleep with her. I mean, that's just me. I mean, I, I'm, I mean, you know, I'm not even, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a booty call kind of guy. I'm not a hookup artist, okay? I'm not a player. I'm not a pimp. I'm not a Mac. I'm not a hustler. I'm not that kind of guy. I care. I care about you. I mean, you know, I hope you get this. I don't know if you're going to get this or not. It was a damn computer act. So I don't know. I don't even know if it was a car and an audio or not. Because I try to do this uh, Saturday, the damn thing. Said something about a microphone and the damn thing shut off. I only got like two minutes. I decided to do it over again and make a full a full broadcast for you to see. A full video for you to see. I mean you do the basic thing I'm telling you is follow your heart, okay? Follow your heart. If you care about me, don't let anybody turn you against me. Follow your heart. Your heart will never leave you wrong. You need to know that. Follow your heart. And if I'm the guy that you like for whatever crazy reason you like me and you hope one day me and you can become more than friends and you hope one day I ask you out on a date, go with that. Don't change because of a rumor. Don't change because of somebody telling a lie on the internet about me that's not true. Well, I'm telling you, it's not true. I was raised to be honest, okay? I'm not a liar. You do know that if I ever want to go on a date with a woman, it would be you. If you were my girlfriend, it would be you. If I ever wanted to sleep with a woman I day, even if it's you know who's like a booty call? You would be my booty call. You would be the girl I have on that stand with. You'd be the girl I hook up with. Nobody else. I mean, if you didn't have your Amish religious beliefs keeping you moral in the, in the intimacy department, that is. I mean, if you ever got in that mood where you just want to do it, you'd be the person. You'd be the booty call. You'd be the hookup. You'd be the one on stand, not see anybody else. You. But I don't see you that way. I see you as a person. I like to get to know better, see what happened. You know, because I like you, Kate. I do. And I just wish that you could realize how I feel about you because I really care about you, Kate Stokes. I do. I mean, you just knowing you briefly has made an impression on me. 
that's made it, for a while I felt better about myself just being near you just being close to you and I don't want to lose that I want you and me to be close to friends I want us to be born from a girl for one day and hopefully lovers if, if, if we ever get to that level if not we can be in a platonic relationship until until the Carnegie's release engagement or matrimony. And I can wait. I don't mind being with a woman who wants, even if you're not a virgin virgin, for whatever reason you decide you don't want to be involved with a man no more unless that man is going to be your husband. I'm okay with that. Even if you're just celibate like me and you have your heart broken by some Amish guy that you were put in a range, engagement on a range, potential range, marriage or whatever. And he was unfaithful to you, or he didn't want to marry you because because uh, he wanted a wife to stay home, and you want the model to kick it to the curb for another Amish girl who, who would give him babies and be his wife and his young bride. Or if you want to work and do things for yourself, and maybe that's why the guy broke up with you, and maybe carrying that pain around with you, which is probably why you don't trust men a whole lot on the romantic side of things because you've been hurt. But see, t see, Taylor Swift was also similar to you. I mean, half the songs that she made about how these men treated her, those were platonic relationships. There was no sex involved when Taylor Swift wrote about these guys. This girl was like celibate or virgin when she wrote these songs. And these men hurt her without even sleeping with her. So you, you can imagine how much more devastating her pain would have been if she had been intimate with these guys, okay? This girl was like an emotional person tells so her. She does songs on guys who break her heart. And I'm not saying you're the honest version of tell so, but you and her both are compassionate people and they're both emotional and they're both driven by your careers and what you do with your career. But I want to let you know because I'm a big fan of Taylor Swift because I can relate to the stuff that she sings about because I've been through that with women. I've had women break my heart. I've had women who reject me. I've had uh, uh, my ex-girlfriend, she was constantly cheating on me. And then there was another woman who was like a female friend, but I like you, who's a decent person, this female friend, uh, she wasn't willing to commit. She didn't have, she had a crush on me, but not to the point where she wanted to date me. She wanted to date multiple people. So that's what I mean. Her didn't get together because she was like a, you know, she wasn't as bad as my ex girlfriend who's pretty much stirring half of Washington Heights and Harlem. But she's bad now. She's like a, she's playing the field as all opposing. And like you and I, we seen her start off like fine, but she's playing a deal. She's gone from guy to guy. You know, she was on this my base. She wasn't a bigger, a bigger, uh, I just said it without sound and disrespectful. She wasn't as big as slut as my ex girlfriend. My ex girlfriend's pretty slutty. I mean, you know, she's all over the place with different men behind my back, and I didn't even know it. This girl's playing the field, but she let me need it. She's on her to tell me that all we had was a friendship. And even though me and her tried to see how the romance thing was, but it never really happened because she wasn't looking for that. And eventually she moved on with somebody else, but she was on not to let me know. And you and I. We're both friends who like each other. And the last time I looked prior to the nonsense that the lie in it and lies that Susan put on the internet, you and I are getting along pretty good. You actually wanted me to be the boyfriend at one point. I mean, I could maybe hoping for me and you to go out. And I know you used to tell people about me, like, and, I, and I would see you sometimes, I didn't recognize you because. You, you would have yourself looking different ways with your hair and makeup or whatever. And I used to see women that look like you, and I'd have to walk up to these women and ask for their cake. And they'd say, no. So I care about you, Katie. Anytime I think I see women that look like you, and I'm approaching them in public, asking them, are they you? 
You should know that I care about you, friend. I've been hurt. Why would I hurt you? Seriously, I mean, you know my story. I told you, and uh, Daniel, Damon, Mr. DeGrasse, the one in your class, in his class, time when nobody but you and me showed up in all that rain, and it's just us and him. And I introduced myself to you for the first time. Okay, I want you to. I don't want nobody else. I want you to. I want to be with you for it. I want to go out with you someday. Even on a friend day, we need all these friends and hang out with each other and clown around with each other. Make each other laugh. I miss your laugh, so you're such a sweet laugh. I like your laugh. And I like the way you smile. Your face lights up the room when you smile. So what I'm trying to say to you is, um, it's up to you. If you've ever seen a video, I mean, if you ever see it, because when my computer works, I got it. Hopefully, this video might go viral on YouTube. A lot of people to tell you what I said. I just, I just want you to realize that I want to be putting myself through this stuff by the chair. I mean, why would I, why, why, okay, why in the world would I be going out of my way trying to convince you that I care about you if I didn't care about you? That'd be, that, that would make me look like ignorant, okay? Why would I do that? I mean, seriously, if I didn't care about you, why would I be wasting my time sending videos on YouTube hoping that you see them, okay? What fool does that if he didn't care about a woman? <coughs> Even if you didn't have a crush on me and you only liked me as a friend, and I didn't have a crush on you and I only liked you as a friend, that would be showing you that I'm a really good friend to try to stay in touch with you in spite of somebody lying to you and causing a rift between us of a misunderstanding brought on by their lies. That would show you that I'm a good friend, at least, you know? Me and you need to talk, Kate. You need to go somewhere and talk with and talk to each other. Kate and Stills, uh, Kate Stills, as you call yourself these days. Kate Stills. So the thing I'm trying to say is this. I just wish to God that you and I and work through this, that you and I could um, do our best to resolve this issue. But I care about you, Kate. I really do. You're a, real, you're, you're a smoking hot gorgeous woman with an amazing body, and, and you have really pretty hair. I like your hair. I wish I could brush your hair, comb your hair. And by a hairstyle, go style your hair in different ways and see how good you look with each style. And I hope one day, if maybe you ever do get in a committed relationship, one that starts off as a friendship. So, this is the type of woman I want to meet. A woman who's my friend first and she becomes my girlfriend over time. To me, that's a great thing is that it takes time. When you start off as a friend with someone and then you go into something great with them, a romance, that's what's worth waiting on. See, if you and a person already know each other's friends, once you start dating, I don't have to try as hard to impress you with the wrong friend. It's not like I'm a stranger and I'm going out of my way trying to make you notice me and trying to woo you. I already know you because a friend. That's the kind of relationship I want. So me and a woman are friends and we get to know each other over time and then it's it meant for us to be more than friends and the day that happens, we already know each other so it's not like I have to try so hard to get you. And you don't have to try so hard to get me because we already have a connection, a friendship. That's the kind of relationship I want. And then that builds up over time. We start off as friends, 
then our friendship gets stronger, and then eventually, if our friendship leads even stronger feelings, then we date and call each other, and then eventually become boyfriend, girlfriend, and lovers or whatever. And that's the kind of relationship I want, the one that takes time, not the one that happens overnight, like booty calls and hookups. I'm not into that. I want to know who I'm sleeping with if I sleep with her. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> I guess you know what I mean. You know. I want to know the person I'm you know, going to end up sleeping with one day. I don't want, I don't want no booty call. I don't want no hookups. I don't want no um, 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 one night stand. I want to be in a committed relationship with five sons again. Okay, and I hope you understand that. And I believe you're that kind of person too. You want to be in a committed relationship with a man that you feel is the person for you before you get anything romantic going, intimately or just romantic in general, platonic romantic. I'm the same way. I want to get to know you, and I can't get to know you if I'm nowhere contacting you outside of Facebook and that goddamn Twitter page of yours. And Got them put a page of mine that she's acting up. Uh, forgive me for saying that word. I, I, I believe in God. I, I well, I, I care about God a lot. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know why they said that. I don't know. Spur the moment thing. So the Twitter page is upsetting me. Things I'm reading on it and blocking of it. It's really upset me. It's taking a toll on me. Those are my only two ways of communicating with you, Facebook and Twitter. I have no other way. See, if you gave me your email, half of that stuff, that personal stuff people are reading would be private. The email only you would read it. Nobody else sent to me. If you send me a message on email, nobody would read it but me. And here's another thing you can do. If you lost my email, if you want to contact me, Send me a message on Facebook. Did nobody see that if they don't go to my message page? There's not like a post where everybody can see it. Send me a message to my Facebook page apart from messages. Send me a message directly written by your hand. Not somebody pretending to be you like that crazy girl on Twitter who says all this off the wall stuff that doesn't sound like you. And like whoever the other person is on the other Twitter page who's, who's pretending to be you and may not be you. Really, the girl that sends stuff on Instagram, the girl that sends stuff on Facebook. If you like this video, Kate, contact me. If the words I'm saying in this video move you and make you feel something, contact me. I'm here, Katie. I'm not going nowhere as long as you care about me. And you're willing in your heart to take a chance on me. I, from the bottom of my heart, would definitely take a chance on you. You need to know that. I'm not going to turn you down, Kate. If you ever get to the point where maybe you get close, I ain't turning you down. You need to know that right now. I'm not turning you down. I will date you and anything else. I'm not turning you down. Why would I? Look at you. <laughs> I mean, look at you, look at me. Why do why a guy that looks like me turn down a Smoking hot gorgeous woman like you, a woman with a with a body that looks good in lingerie and swimsuits. Why the hell would I turn you down? What fool would do that? I mean, I have a girlfriend who's a lingerie model and a, and a, and a, a swimsuit model, a pinup model, and a fashion model too. All roll into one. Why in the frick in the hell would I turn that down? Really? In what universe am I going to turn that down? I mean, look at you. My God, Kate. I mean, damn. Your stomach alone gets me aroused. I don't, you know, I call you... Uh, uh, I don't know if you like the nickname or not. I call you the, um, uh, the, um, the, the Amish Amazon. <laughs> I mean, you're like Wonder Girl. You're really young, as I said, Wonder Girl instead of Wonder Woman. You're like Wonder Girl. I mean, look at you. The Wonder Woman is even bigger and taller. That's why I said Wonder Girl. But you're taller than Deborah Wang. I don't know. Deborah Wang was 5'4. You're 4 inches taller than her. I can tell you the Wonder Girl because of you. 
I mean, my God, the stomach on you, my God. I would kiss your stomach. You have such a rough stomach. God, Katie, your stomach is rough. I love your stomach. I bounce a card off your stomach. I love that stomach, you know. Oh my God, Katie. I love your stomach muscles. I mean, it's like what you're doing in a Bancroft video where you're wearing a lot of rain with your stomach stuck in a butt cheek. And you, I like that sequence where, where you had a camera person pretending to make it rain, throwing money at you, and you were on the bed laughing, ha 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 And then at the end of the video, you was doing this thing where you're making your stomach muscles jump up and down, and people was clapping at you, tensing your stomach muscles, and giving you a round of applause, and you making your stomach, drawing your stomach in and out, flipping your stomach muscles. I love that damn video. But, I call it the lingerie video. The most more lingerie the video is up on Sunset too. A video where Naughty Kate starts sassing people. <laughs> I love that video on Bancroft. It's like the nice girl up there, but the naughty girl comes out and she starts sassing people. And she's like, I don't, I don't care what any one person thinks. At the end of the day, I'm happy doing this. And I'm like, here you go, girl. <laughs> I think you said I'm happy doing this, but you know, at the end of the day, I'm happy. Something about you being happy about rolling around the bed, half naked in a lingerie, with your stomach showing and your little round, tight, slim booty showing. <laughs> All round, slim, tight booty showing. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. And booty with, with a six red dots on it. Well, it's so funny. Yeah, yeah. No butt cheeks, the dots are in the same place. Same place. You have two on the side of your hips on the, on the right butt cheek, and one on the top of the butt, the upper part of the right butt cheek. And on the left side, you have two on the side of your hips. So both of those are small on both hips, and the two that are on, on your cheek, on the top, on the on the, on, the, on, the, on your upper butt cheek, are are, are, are are bigger than the two that's on the side of the cheek. I don't know if those are furcos or sunspots or what, but let's keep. <laughs> okay. And I also like the way your bra feels in push up bras. Push up bras make them look even bigger. I like that. And a crazy picture with your rock and that's on the freaking Twitter page. The one where you're tugging at your bra and pulling your bra. Tugging at your bra. Hey, don't you know you, don't you know turn me around? Don't you know you get me around? Don't you know I just want to give you a big hug someday? And Hug you. I just want to hug you, kid. I just want to kiss you someday. You know, on the cheek, and then maybe we'll get married each other better on the lips. I want to kiss you, kid. I know that now. I know you're a good kiss on that. I want to kiss you, kid. I want to hug you, kid. Put my arms around you, kid. Yeah. 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 So anyway, no other one makes me feel that way, Kate. I mean, sir, the the the. I mean, that girl lying on a line of spreading rumors. Believe you me. I don't think you want to see Susan in a in lingerie. No, I know. I don't think you want to see her with a stout stuck in her behind. Her behind does not look like your behind, believe me. And I definitely don't want to see her in a bikini. Oh, God, please. You in a bikini is, is totally awesome, baby. You in, in bathing suits, totally awesome. You and Lana are totally awesome. You rock, girl. 
you go, girl. <laughs> I like you, Cherry. I do. I do see. You, know, you make me laugh. You, you were there for me when I needed a friend. You gave me good advice. You made me feel bad about myself. A few times, me and you actually had a conversation with each other in the class. Right? And I, I, I like that about you. You're a good woman. A good listener. You, 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 you're, you're a real friend. See your friends whenever they need you. I love that about you. You know, because I, I care about you, Shady. And you're an easy woman to fall in love with. If one day I fell in love with you, I would never stop loving you, Shady, because you do that to me. You make me feel that way. I really care about you. I care about you a lot. And even when I get upset all these misunderstandings and this stuff on Twitter makes me crazy sometimes with the point where I actually think of you writing this stuff and I and I get so pissed off that I have to stop myself from cursing your name, thinking you're the Twitter girl writing this kind of stuff. And then I said now Terry would do that. So this is hard. This is some person holds in his heart. So I can tell you from that person that when you get on the page, you talk about stuff in your life, like your dog Victoria, and about the upcoming season at Onyx series. But there's all a part that she saw this crazy stuff, like some guy called her, called her the up off or whatever, and she called him a she male and stuff. And I know that's not you. You would not say that. Because you have male and female friends that are gay and lesbian that you hang out with. So I know that's part of the one from you. Call this uh, skateboarder kid. Uh, and his girlfriend writing me. I know it's not cheap to call the guy she know. I mean, some of the friends are gay last time. You wouldn't do that. And that person, whoever she is, she gets on my last nerve. And if I knew her personally, I would put her across my knee. And I would tip my hands and I would spank the devil out of her. And I would have you help me. And then once we're done spanking this girl, then you would get your quarter players back outright and she'd be sent back and she'd be fired. And then really you would be back in the quarter players, the person who don't block people for no reason over rumors and lies that someone else said about a man that you care about. Me. <sighs> so there was a guy running around about you a while that I never mentioned it to you, but he made it seem like me and him hooked up or whatever. I got a little job of reading that, but I didn't get mad and 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 and, and have somebody block you off my Twitter page or block you on my Facebook page. I didn't do that. I did a lot of stuff lying. I Katie didn't make a name for herself. So God's calling herself uh, private, and the next time he wrote the same story about you and him, he's calling himself strictly logic. He felt like you and him had intimate relations before you were on breaking all this, and that you were begging him to help you get acting jobs as opposed to modeling jobs. And that you hung out with him all day, cooking up with him and, and, and crap. Now, I kind of got mad behind that, but that was before you met me, calling to him. He said, how many years ago? Now, I never really brought that up with you, but since you seem for a while to have been upset by the lies of season song, the former classic season line on the internet about me, you know, that's why I'm letting you know this guy put a little out about you. This strictly logic guy, he was called private. He might be him hooked up several times, but he said, and the, and, the, and, the, and the rumor, he goes, oh, you know, that you were no virgin and definitely not, uh, you were definitely no virgin and, and not a wallflower or something like that. And if you know, like your virtuous character that you presented in class with us, and I'm breaking all this was an act on him. And I got a little jealous and I read this bad nonsense. But I didn't get so angry to the point where I confronted you with it and I had you blocked off my Twitter page or I had you blocked off my Facebook or whatever. I didn't go that far. 
I just laughed it off. I said, Look. I said, you gotta do the same thing. Sue me as a liar. I'm trying to make it. Why would I do what I can do with you? If I, if I had a choice and I was in that house and got that okay from, from my doctor where I'm going to get enough health when I engage in sexual activity, there's something to do it with you. You don't want to be, you don't want to be, you don't want to hope to make long term life. You don't want to hope to go to town with it. Um, you know, you didn't want to have to go to town with it. You didn't want to have to get it on with and learn the mom and get it. You didn't want to have to help to nail hard and screw hard, fast and hard. You. See, in hip hop terminology, when they say, I don't want to use the word, but it's a curse word. They said, I, 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 I sanitize them. I said, screw on. They said, hip hop terminology, F and only wanna, 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 uh, lady hard, a guy asks a woman hard, that means uh, he's having aggressive, 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 aggressive um, love making to the point where it, where it hurts. That's what hard means. Now on a person, or now on a lot of guy, now on a lady hard, or now on a woman hard, and then doing a touch that hurts. That's what it means. Now on a woman hard. But I don't want to dwell on this thing because. I'm letting you know I didn't do anything wrong. I'm still solid, okay? I haven't been intimately. I live on to the next one. Yeah, if they ever came out of sight of you and Walmart again, it would be you. That's it. Hell no, I don't want her. I don't even go on a date with her. I don't want to go and hook up with her. I mean, like I said, I'm not a booty call kind of guy, but if I was, you would be the person I'd have a booty call with. You'd be the person who's gone if I'd be trying to get into a hook up with. No, you. You don't know that. I'm still some of it. I haven't had sex with a woman in decades more. Not since probably my ex girlfriend or her. I'm sure it's been a while for me. Uh oh. So, so the thing I'm trying to say, Trey, I just want to get to know you and see if our friendship can turn into a platonic romance and then the further down the line, the platonic friends and related romantic relationship turns into something of I an abandonment nature. We'll just deal with that when that time comes. For now, I just want to, you know, be a, want us to be better friends and develop a, a romantic courtship with each other and have a platonic romantic relationship and see what happens. And then if somewhere down the line we both decide we want to be in a people again. If you have done so many things, like I had my girls on you know. But I don't have a lot of experience with women in it while I've done it. I have done it with a lot of people. Yeah. And each time, a few times it happened, these women hurt me. That is why I refuse to give my chat, give my Celebrity up unless it's with someone worth me being with, somebody nice, someone who's a decent person, someone who is a do it with. I don't have to worry about her running around uh, screwing 10 or 20 all of them behind my back. Someone that if she opens up herself to me and let me and her get intimate with each other, I would be the only person she's giving herself to, nobody else. That's the kind of woman I'm looking for. Someone who's willing to wait until the right person come along and then decide what they want to do. 
And then you have that in common with what you have the right people. I don't want to give up myself to any old woman. And, you know, I just want to Kate. You know what I want? I want to be with you. Okay? I care about you, Katie. So please, please, please um, think about what I'm saying on the video, Kate. I really care about you. I just want to talk to you and get to know you. I want to see what happens. And I don't mind us getting close as friends. And even if we never end up being born from the ground, at least we'll have a closer friendship than we currently have. And that's better than not having you in our life at all. That's better than you not having me in your life at all. And I care about you, Trey. I want to be with you. I want to be a, a closer friend of you. I hope I can be a boyfriend someday, be a man someday, and meant to be, be a lover someday. And I, and I guess you hope one day it was meant to be that that she could be my woman someday, my girlfriend, and eventually my lover. If, 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 if you get to that level, you're in the current our relationship, but that but, but that 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 can only be known when the time comes, because the time is here. The time's not here yet. We have to do small stuff, get to know each other gradually. Thank you. 
administration. I sent technical experts to Missouri. And as a result of an ongoing political conflict of corruption, there was a long list of other New York politicians as well. By now, this one from Scott and outside of City Hall. Oh. So, uh, so. For city and state government, and yet another public trust and elected official accused of having his hand in the pussy jar. Now, this. Yeah, so like I said, um. And I want to um, be with you. I want to get to know you better. 
don't really care about your case, though. And I would never, ever be with any other woman for you. But I listen to Susan uh, from a classmate's lies, a uh, rumor that she spread on the internet. And I wasn't with her or any other woman. You don't even want to be true. You don't even want to be out on a date. Someday. That's what we've been friends for. You don't want a woman that when I get my son to shave and get healthy again, and and I plan on getting on Big Loser, whether I went on the show or not. I plan on getting on Big Loser, losing, losing the weight, getting myself in shape, telling my body, having ripped abs like you, and improve a certain part of my anatomy to the point where I can feel better about myself and feel secure. And then when I'm in a committed relationship, and for some reason, it, 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 you know, me and you decide one, two, three minutes of our life. Even if you believe in waiting in marriage a bit, I don't mind waiting in marriage to find that love to you and, 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 and turn the Amish belief system. I don't mind waiting in marriage to be in a woman I love or engage with at least. And if we do it in a steady, committed relationship that might lead to marriage one day, I'm okay with that. I just want you to know, okay, I'm a one man kind of, I'm a one, I'm a man who's in a one woman. I'm a one woman kind of man. Because I will not be leaving one behind in that. And if I, it's like, I'm, not, I'm not a booty call kind of guy. If I was the kind of guy who engaged in a booty call, Guess who I would pick? You. I would, I, you would be my little girl. You would be my little girl. You would be my one that's saying. You're the woman I'd want to make love to all night long, over and over again. You're the woman that I'd want to be when, when I get to the. When I, when I get okay for my doctor, where I can be in the shape, where I can have the intimacies of one woman. You're the woman that I'd want to make love to. You are the woman. You are the woman. You're the woman that I would be intimate with. You're the woman I'd make love to. You're the woman that I would sleep with. You're the woman I'd make love to all that long, over and over again. And you're the woman that I would marry hard. And, 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 and you would just do it until it hurts. You'd be that woman. Even if, it, even if I had to wait until my wedding night for that to happen, you'd be that woman. Not Sue or anybody else. I don't care what kind of lie rumor she told you. I'm not that kind of guy. You ought to know I would never be on faith for you. We're not even officially boyfriend and girlfriend yet. And, and, and you're going to take a rumor that she said and, and run with it and get some. And, and as far as you sending me the, um, the, the, the request to be a follower on my Twitter page, I wasn't home when you sent that. I was at Columbia University's Community Impact at um, Earl Hall. Having math lab and writing lab. And my computer wasn't working at all. So it's not my fault that I wasn't there to make you a follower of mine on Twitter. And you should, and, if, and if you got so angry behind that that you had your hands block me on Twitter, that's wrong, Kate. Okay. That's wrong. Just for that. And listening to Susan and her line, that's wrong. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything to warrant that, Kate. Okay. Seriously? I care about you, Shane. I do. I want to get to know you, though. I hope you can be going out for a girlfriend someday. I hope we can be lovers someday, Kate. I hope I can take you out on a date. I hope I can take you to, uh, out to a nice a or a restaurant with me. Yeah, I just want you to know, Kate, that it's up to you if you still care about me and you want me to have a connection, even if it's with the classified shit right now, get in touch with me. Then you don't want to be bothering me anymore at all. You want to see some lies and bull crap that she swear to me about me. The rumors and lies she told about me, or what is whatever all of it, and you know what? Have an interest in having anything to do with me, you send me some sort of um, 
Now that the train sound like you know that. Now I'm leaving you alone. I go on my way and let you go on your own. But if you still care about me, can you follow your heart? Okay? Follow your heart. Don't let anybody discourage you from caring about me if you care about me. I'm going to do my best to not let anybody discourage me from caring about you. And, and you said that. And you said that um, great, um, that great things take time. With all of you that wrote that story about, uh, about sometimes the fans of things get put together, the fans they crumble. And I'm going to know how to Yeah, uh, um, great things take time. You're right, great things do take time. And guess what? Great things are worth fighting for. Okay? So the point I'm trying to make okay, is that um, I really care about you. I say, I want I want to I want to get to know you, Kay. I want to have a connection with you. I want to you to you know pick up where we. Uh huh. So I just hope Terry, I just hope I just hope that many of you should um work through this and hope that one day it is meant to be and that the world God and it's possible that you and I see each other again and we meet someone in a public place and talk to each other. I miss you, Terry. I miss you so much. I miss the way you smile, I miss the way you laugh. And this way you can make me laugh. And the sarcastic, wise parts that you do. Yeah, so I just, I just, you know. I just, I just want you and I to move past the lies and the rumors that Susan spurred with her. They're not true. She knows she did wrong, but her conscience won't let her admit that. I've seen her race like the butt stop, and she's running up to me like nothing is wrong, and I kind of brush her off in a nice way. It's wrong what she did. It's wrong, Kate. It's wrong that we let this one person come between us. I like you, Kate. And you like me. We need to work on that. We need to find a way to get to get things um to get things going. Me and you need to work around this. We need to we need to do our best to get this to get this stuff um, uh, well, <laughs> 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 Yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, I know we saw a little stuff and I was trying to turn my nose. <laughs> sorry about that. Anybody see me doing that? I, I don't do stuff like that. I forgot, I, was on, I, I forgot for a minute that I was broadcasting this message. 
Ah, 2K. Now back to UK. I, I, I even made a poem. I don't know if you heard it the first time or not. It's, it's out. I'll just repeat it. I did it like a rap. I really like you a lot, and I really miss you. We were friends and classmates. At the time, you were hero me. I didn't realize that you had a major crush on me. I also felt the same way about you, but I never got the chance to tell you because you cut the test and pass, and you're now busy going to college and working on your career as a celebrity reality show model. You're also working on another season of your, out, or your reality show that got you noticed by the fashion industry. I wish someday you could be my girlfriend. You're smoking hot garbage and look beautiful with it or without makeup. I also think about you all the time, hoping someday that you could be mine. You're so beautiful, sexy, and fine. You're also really nice, sweet, and kind. I hope someday my wish will come true with you and I are really becoming boyfriend and girlfriend. <coughs> and that was the poem that I read at the Community Impact in a Semester Award Ceremony Party for the end of the spring 2014 semester. It's not called DD Speak so much, it's called on task now because the new test is called task. When you talk it, it's still known as TD, now it's the task test. Uh, that's T A S C. And the nice thing about the this, the this time around is that they People who taught the DD and didn't pass one subject or whatever, they didn't have to take that subject over again. But the other subjects they passed and they had to do the whole test, those scores would stand. Those scores would not be wiped out. So hopefully, once we get test test books in class or either they have something to go buy them once I learn the material, and then I'll try to get a test date so I can take the test and pass. See, like you, I want to do something in my life. I don't want to be up in a work center I currently work at the rest of my life. I want to go to college. I want a career. I want to be a comic book writer, or if I can't make a comic book, be a novelist. If I can't make a novelist, be a poet. And I also want to be an actor and a singer. I'm like you. I'm humble and I'm ambitious. It's like one day, you want a giant billboard or just sell a Times Square, so do I. And when I talk about you and me getting together, I'm not talking about now. See, right now, I can't even afford a girlfriend, although I want one. And you probably are too busy to worry about a boyfriend, because you're not at that point in your life where you can afford to have a boyfriend in life. Not just financial reasons, but for other reasons, like your career and whatever. But I just want you to know, when I mention me and you getting together, I'm talking future tense. Where I have a real job, where I have money coming in, where I'm a celebrity like you are on the verge of becoming, or we a celebrity like you just getting my foot in the door. That's what I mean when I say it's in the future tense, not now. Because I want to be the best I can be for you, and I'm going to work on myself. I'm going to slim down and get my biggest loser so I can lose this weight. And when I'm done, I'm going to have a ripped stomach like yours. I'm going to be like the male equivalent of you. Maybe you'd be like a, a power cop. I'd be like I'd be Superman. And you'd be Wonder Woman. And, uh, although technically, you're more like Wonder Girl because you're like, you have a little toned body. Wonder Woman's bigger and, and taller. But, you know. I, I, out of respect to Wonder Woman, I kind of give you a nickname. I call you the Amish Amazon. <laughs> That's my nickname for you, the Amish Amazon, because you're tall, like Wonder Woman, you know, Wonder Girl. A Wonder Girl is shorter than Wonder Woman. But you, you're like, to me, you're like Wonder Woman or Wonder Girl. That's why I call you the Amish Amazon. I mean, I would love to be a Superman to your Wonder Woman. You know what I mean? <laughs> I like you, Kay. I do. You know I'm a good man, Kay. You know that whatever feelings I have for you are in response to the feelings for me. You know that I would never do anything to harm you in any kind of way. 
and all the times that she that I met in writing stuff to you, if you're even receiving it, I've never said anything threatening. I might have went on a rant once or twice, misunderstanding your taking your feelings for me for granted and thinking that you don't really care about me or whatever, and jumping to the wrong conclusions and acting like a like a, a diva, a male diva, thinking that. You, you, I'm not good enough for you or whatever, because they're all now what I mean, those rats. Yeah. But other than that, I've never said anything of a threatening nature to you. I mean, I've never done anything that people could construe as threatening us or, or the S word, you know. Because if you don't want to be bothered with me anymore for whatever reason, whether it's season, lying on the internet about me or any other reason, I just leave you alone and go on with my life. I'm not going to. I'm not going to, you know, run behind some woman that's not interested in me and appear desperate or needy. The only reason I respond to you at all is because you send this stuff to me. And whatever I send you on Facebook and Twitter for your handler, so the other girl who is supposed to be ghostwriting as you had me blocked because something Susan said or something they think I did that I didn't do, that was the only way... I had to get in touch with you to see at the end of semester party the last time I saw you up close and directly, you ran off to your job. You didn't get uh, the chance to get me and friends and all the classmates that you were friends with your contact information. We gave you hours, but you probably lost our contact information because you haven't sent me an email yet. I mean, if you don't feel like sending personal stuff on Facebook or Twitter to me or anybody else, Send emails to people. Emails are private. Nobody can can nobody can uh, read an email unless they go to your email page. But emails are private. And if I had your cell phone number, I could call you a taxi. And my cell phone number that I gave you the time is 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 is, 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 is not in use anymore because my crazy next door neighbors from my old apartment building, well I used to live on 110th Street, they, um, they, they uh, found my, some stuff we left when we were moving, they found my cell phone number, found my mother's cell phone house number, they're prank calling us, and that is a guy prank calling me, this guy acting like he was a homicidal or whatever, calling me, wanted me to meet him so long, <laughs> but that's why I changed my number. The guy for accident. The guy sounded like he was Asian or Arabic or whatever. You couldn't understand where the guy sounded. So we <sighs> had my number changed and I got a new cell phone over there from South Street. Stop working. And, and, and I got a new, new cell phone, my new cell phone number. But if you want my new cell phone number, you have to meet me in person so I can give it to you. I don't want to give you my personal information on the internet and have people calling me and harassing me. And I'm not going to give you my address on the internet neither. I live at a new address now. I live in Madison Avenue in 108th Street. But I'm not going to set the actual address because that I want you to have it. I don't want the whole world knowing where I live at. I want you to know. Because I don't live at the old address anymore. We use the Henry Transfer Apartments in C. You know, we move. We're at a new address now. We're in Madison Avenue, Henry Transfer. Like I said, you want to get in touch with me and you want the new address, you know. And you want the new address, get in touch with me. You know, because I'm not going to say it in this video. I'm going to give it to you in person, my my um, cell phone number and my email again. This time, don't lose it. And I, then you and I can text each other. We can send personal stuff to each other. After that, I want to tell you that I don't want the whole world knowing about personal stuff. You know, because it's embarrassing getting on Facebook and telling you all this personal stuff. As far as Twitter went, I was basically responding to what you sent me. If for some reason you thought I was mocking you in some way, I apologize. I wasn't doing that. I was answering your tweets with a response similar to your question. 
I was basically answering you with a question. Because I care about you, kid. I want to be with you. I want to have a connection with you. I hope that you and I someday have a connection. I hope that you and I have a connection with each other because I really care about you, Kay. I'm going to be with you. I hope one day, after we've been friends for a while, I hope we can go out on a date with each other and we start a romantic courtship and eventually become boyfriend and girlfriend and a platonic romance if that's what you want. I'm okay with that. I don't mind waiting until engagement and marriage before we have sexual relations. I don't mind being waiting to be intimate with a woman until my engagement or wedding now or until matrimony. I don't mind. I don't mind waiting until my honeymoon to be with you. And 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 without a respect for your Amish beliefs in your tradition. I don't mind. I don't mind having a platonic romance with you all we do. Hug and kiss each other and hold hands and nothing else. I don't mind that. You know, I don't mind being in a in a in a in a committed romantic platonic relationship, committed platonic romantic relationship with you. Where there is no pre marriage hooking that up and stuff or whatever. I don't mind. Because there's no term relationship in sex anyway. Sex is part of a relationship. It's not the biggest thing about a relationship. It's one of the many parts of a relationship. I don't care about that choice. I don't care about that choice. Yeah. So what I'm trying to do now, Kim, is I just hope that after watching this thing, I mean, if you even see this thing, I don't even know if you're you going to see it now. We might computer act. I don't even know if they're going on YouTube or not. Now, in my life, this thing might not even go viral. <laughs> I want it to go viral so you can see me on YouTube and then you can contact me and let me know what you think of me doing this. Because I really care about you, Kate Stokes. I do. I really care about you. And I would like to have a woman like you in my life. You're everything I want in a woman. You can cook, you can clean. You can sew. You even can deliver churn if it's if, if one of your model friends, husband, or well, his fiance, a boyfriend wasn't able to get her in time, and, and and she couldn't make it to the hospital. You deliver the baby right on the right on the runway. I mean, you're one of the big skills. You can actually deliver babies and deliver. Now I'm a human sure, but delivering animal babies. I like that about you. It's a woman of many skills, okay? I mean, you cook, you clean, you sew, you can deliver babies, you can do stuff like a, like a, mid, like a, like a nurse or a midwife. I like that about you. you. You can do survivalist type stuff if you're in the woods. I mean, you're a woman of many skills, okay? So, so you're a good woman. And even. And then you don't end up together, whoever this guy is, they end up with you. He can be loving me. He can love you so much. And I'll be happy for you. And I'll be wishing God every day I was that man. And I was him. And that day you were my wife. And you were my girlfriend. And my fiance. You were my wife. And we were keeping the mother of my child. So I'm just mad at that you know, you're a lucky man. Even if I'm not that man, I got to be lucky. And hopefully, whoever I end up with, I hope she's a lot like me, and that would make me a lucky man. And you would probably wish that you could have been the woman with me instead of whoever this other lady is up here. I'm being a real estate. I don't want you to think that I'm being delusional. Because I hope man, we do end up together. I hope we end up doing each other's first. I would love to have a life for each other. I would love to have a woman like you to grow with and be with until my time on this planet is, is over with. 
I love to have a woman like you in my life, share my life with you, to be my soulmate, to be a part of my life. Even if you're not the woman I end up married to one day, even if you're not the woman who becomes the mother of my children one day, it leads me to the day that temporarily in the hour of very little different friends in that house. See, I want to cheat, Katie. I want to go on a journey with you. I'm not worried about the future. I'm worried about now. Right now, I want us to be called the friends. Right now, I have to take you out on a date someday. I want to take you to a restaurant, a nice, affordable restaurant. I want to take you to a movie. Okay? When I have a, when I have a better job, I'm making some real money, and I don't have to sit home because there's no work. Right now, we're trying to get out of it, so, you know, so we're okay for right now. <sighs> okay, I don't, I don't want to roll in the future too much, but I don't know what the future holds in your name. I just hope that whatever the future holds, I just hope I'm part of your life, and I just hope you're part of my life. So many people I talk to, I tell them about you, and they said that, that maybe if me and you had better contact with each other, we'd be closer friends. And so many people think we'd be a good couple. My, my mother wants you. And I really care about you, Kate. I do. Oh, that was my the web group thing coming up. It was some kind of um, threat to my to my to my um, computer system that it was letting me know, notifying me about. Because I have web group, it, it's like a computer security thing that when a virus or whatever pops up, it 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 it, 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 it removes it. And that's what the icon on the screen was. It just popped up. So anyway, Kate, I just want to say I wish you the best of luck on the new season of Return On. And have some more good news on the Sherry. <laughs> the Rise and Files has finally come to our, to our project. After all the years of being saddled with Time Warner, I'm actually about to move forward with Verizon. And I've been wanting to get files for you since it came out. And now I'm about to become a files Verizon customer. It's so good at that. I mean, I miss being a Time Warner customer. Like I've been a customer of Time Warner for almost 13 years. Well, all the high price hikes they had, and, and in some cases, bad customer service, you know. I'm glad I don't have to deal with that anymore. So the point I'm trying to make to you, Kate, is that I really care about you. I want you to see this video, Kate. I want you to know that you're the only woman for me. There's never been any other woman since I've known you. Okay? I am celibate. I have not been with a woman in here since my person my last girl time. Treated me cruel and, and screwing every man that moved, and even even kind of pregnancy on me that wasn't in the child's even mind. Me and her really had any kind of uh, sexual connection because she'd always have people knock on the door to interrupt her. And then she hooked up with some dude that lived in her block, and the baby was his or babies. So, I, and this woman treated me bad. I mean, she treated me so cruel. She knows she loved me, and she's constantly cheating on me. See, I couldn't do that to a woman. The women have cheated on me, but I'm faithful to me. I would never do that to you or anyone. If I look, if I'm the type of guy that was in the booty call for that, do you really think I would waste time with some idiot like Susan? Really? I don't know what kind of rumor she spread. I don't know if she spread the rumor that I was with, with other women or whether she was with me. I don't know what kind of lies she told me. Or whether she said something threatening to you that sounds stalkerish and the people on your Twitter page thought it was me or whatever. I don't know what she said, but whatever. It got, it got me blocked on the Twitter page. And I'm not happy about that. I'm kind of angry and upset about that. So, anyway, I just want to say. I would never do that to you. I would never cheat on you. Even if me and you 
we're in a relationship where we weren't even having sex at all, in a platonic romantic relationship, I still wouldn't cheat on her. You know, I could ever wait on you. You're worth me giving myself to when the time comes. And if I were a booty call kind of guy, which I'm not, guess who I would have my booty call with? You cheat. I don't know one that's staying with you. I make one that you feel like that. You're the woman I'd have a booty call with you. You'd be my booty call to so it's you. Not Susan or any other woman. You'd be my booty call. You would be my one that stand. You'd be my hookup. But I'm not into that. I want to be in a relationship with a woman who has sex with her again. You know, five sex going on. I'm in a relationship, committed relationship, where I don't share with just you and me. If you're the woman I end up with, I only want you and me. I don't want like some other dude popping up trying to fight me over you, or some other woman pop up trying to fight you over me. I don't want that drama. I don't want that more over there is pregnant drama. I want you and me to get together someday, Kate. I want to kick her. I want to kick her. A little sexy, not so sexy, behind her movie with me. I want to take you out to a lunch or dinner with me at a nice affordable restaurant like Ruby Tuesday or Red Lobster or Chili's or Applebee or whatever. And that's what I want. I want you. I don't want any other woman. I'm going out on a date with a woman. It's I want it to be you. If they come where I'm in shape again and my doctor gives me the okay to sleep with a woman again, in a relationship, I want you to be the one I'm sleeping with. You don't have to marry you first to sleep with you. Okay. When I'm already waiting in marriage to fall, I lay with you. You need to know I'm a patient man. He said, you or somebody pretending to be sick were great. A little natural about why you're not in a hurry for love or whatever, whatever. And then you say, great things take time. You're right, great things do take time. And I want to take my time with you and see if we can have a great thing one day. We go from friends to romantic partners and eventually lovers. I want that with you, Kate. I want that with you. I want you and I. You know, because I remember a while back in the station, someone that sounds like you, and I know your voice, she was calling me that Mars is my man. And I was like, oh my God, that can't be crazy. You know what, Kate? I love you, man. I love you, man. I love being a boyfriend, I say that thing. I love being a I say that. And I hope one day it will be able to do that kind of thing. I hope, you know, not sure they have a platonic romantic relationship where there's no intimacy that's happening prior to to the wedding night. I can live with that. And if things do happen before the engagement and the wedding and matrimony, I'll check it. I'm going to have a relationship. No booty calls. I, 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 I mean, I got some honors that I won't cross. And I mean, no booty call rules really important to me. I'm the kind of man that you go to do what you want. I want to keep going to do it. I can't, I can't do booty calls when you do it once and then you act like it never happened. That's, that's not me. That's not me. I'm not a booty call kind of guy. If I was a booty call kind of guy, I would definitely be you. No other one than you. Turn you against me. Don't let anybody uh, see them or her lies, pours their mind against me to the point where you get so mad that you, that, that you think me and her did something or either she sent some dirt in the emails or tweets posing as me and the people that run their page panic and with your permission block me because they think I sent this dirt and whatever to you and it wasn't me. Don't do that, Kate. Use your judgment. You know. 
that all the times that I wrote to you, I never said anything threatening you. I might have run in on a rant once or twice. But I would never say anything of a threat and a stalker's nature. I'm not that kind of person, number one. And number two, I do not have intimate relations with a woman behind your back, especially not sitting. I'm not trying to do it. I'm saying my type. I'm my type. Okay? Whatever lies she told you, it must have been big for you to have I believe it. So I'm correcting that. I have nothing to do with that woman. We, we, we at best, acquaintances. You are probably more of a friend than they don't have. And I just want you to know that. I just want you to know that I like you, Kim. I like you a lot. I really care about you. I want to be with you someday, Kim. Because I'm really sad that, you know, that you can't see that I am changed. I'm still the same person I was when you met me in class. And I hope you haven't changed. And you and I, we really need to take a chance and get to know each other because I try about you, Shane. I do. I try about you. And I just hope that you see this video. I just hope that you realize that by not having any confidence in me and, and having doubts about my sincerity and my honesty and my feelings for you, that they're about to throw away something that could, I mean, no one knows for sure what the truth at home. So how do you know I'm not the person for you, Katie? And how do I know that you're not the person for me? We throw this away now before we go on that journey as friends and see where it leads us, then we'll never know. I mean, you don't know. There's probably a reason why John had you at Columbia University's community impact the time you were there. And there's probably a reason that you met people like me in front of them and all the people you were currently with in the class. And God probably put you in our lives for a reason. It's probably a reason that you're in my life at Columbia University's community impact uh, cause. There's a reason for that. Me and you meet with no accident. I believe God had it made for a purpose, too. I don't know if that purpose is. I don't know if it's just friendship, romance, or both. Or uh, whether it's supposed it to help each other out career-wise. I don't know why. But the reason God had me in you know, a you know, class together for the one semester. And since you're a woman who is raised in God and will come from a family that believes in God, and you, more than anybody else, should realize that everything happens for a reason. There's a reason that me and you are in each other's lives briefly. There's a reason that, although we and me and you don't see each other anymore, that we still have this attraction through our Facebook and Twitter connections. It's like we had this unspoken attraction to each other. Okay, I want to see where that leads. Even if you don't end up being my girlfriend, or my fiance, or my wife, and the future mother of my children someday. Even if I don't end up being your boyfriend, or your fiance, or your husband, or she's a father, your children someday. And these would be good friends at least, and not close friends, but that's fine, good friends at least. And I'd rather have you in my life as a good friend than not have you in my life at all, kid. You matter to me. You mean so much to me, Chief Stokes. I care about you. I really care about you, Chief Stokes. I want you in my life. I want to be with you. I want to hug you. I want to kiss you. I want to put my arms around you. I want to make you laugh. And I want to be your shoulder, lean on when you cry. And I want to cheer you up when you're sad. And I want to make you laugh. I want to make you smile. I want to give you advice when you feel what you need a friend to be there for you. Let me be that friend, okay? And I want the same for me. I want you to make me laugh. I want you to make me smile. I want you to give me your show with a cry on when I'm sad. And I want you to cheer me up when I'm, when I'm sad and make me happy. 
and I want you to kiss me, and I want you to hug me, and I want you to put your arms around me, and I want you to give me advice to help me out when I need fun. So it's your second hall. We have Bill Cosby on that tonight. On the show. I just like you, Kate. I just wish that you and me could be like we were, the two people who care about each other. I miss, I miss the Katie that I know. I mean, you used to send stuff on Facebook in the middle of the night to me sometimes. And you would send these list of photos of you in lingerie and bikinis in the middle of the night. Like 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning or whatever. And after midnight, I missed that person. And you would send these twits to me sometimes ahead of time before anybody else got them. You send things on Instagram that I would go to. Although I don't have Instagram, I'm able to see stuff that you have on Instagram. And you would send that stuff to me ahead of time, and then I'd find the same thing on my Twitter page. Please, Kate, if you know about why the Twitter page, I don't know if you can treat her or whether the handles block it or whatever, can you please have them unblock the page so I can see Kate's page? So I can. And I promise when I write Twitter to you again, I'm not going to answer your tweet with another question. I'm not going to do that. Not going to be the Jeopardy approach. Instead of repeating what you said, is that a noise? You're not going to be there anymore. I'll just tell you, oh, I think this is such a nice tweet, and I agree with you. You know, I make it, you know, interesting. Be creative. And so, I just hope you see this. I just hope you see this, Kate. I know that we're getting kind of long because I started doing this around um, 7 16, but what happened? It got cut off, so I'm picking up from where it got cut off at. It got cut off about 10, 10 minutes or more. So I'm trying to finish it out, you know, so you can hear the full tape. With a ten a ten minute interlude, the thing I got cut off about ten minutes, so I'm finishing the broadcast. So I want you to know how I share, Kate. I want you to know that you're the only one in front of me. You're the one for me, Kate. You're the only woman I want to be with. You're the only woman I want to take out of the day. You're the only woman someday that I want to make love to. I don't want to make love to anybody. I want to make love to you someday. I have to marry you and cut your arms for me. I don't mind waiting to marry you to be a woman. I don't have to be with a woman in an intimate sense in a relationship. We can have a relationship platonically. Susan lies when you're angry at me because I wasn't home to put you on my Twitter page as a follower and you got angry like that. Whatever it is, whatever reason, you no longer I want anything to do with me. I just have to simply move on in my life. I guess some things in life that, that are for my best friend from. Well, he used to work at Facebook, and he told me a woman like you is worth fighting for. A woman like you is worth waiting for. And a woman like you is worth knowing that having a woman like you is a great thing. 
And he says, a woman like you is worth taking time for. So I'm going to follow my friend's advice to I'm not giving up on as long as you want me. See, I want to. I will move heaven and earth to be with you. I will go through hell and back just to, just to, just to, just to have a glimpse of you in public somewhere. I'm willing, I'm, willing to be, I'm willing to devote myself to you guys that you want to say. I will not give up on you until you come and you don't want to be bothered. As long as you have an ounce of chair for me, I will not give up. I will not naysay you anymore. I will not read the Twitter page and listen to the crazy girl pretend to be me and get mad and I'm attention to your name and thinking that you want to answer her name. That I should definitely be cursing. <laughs> I apologize, Kate. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for overreacting because I'm human. Me, I've been a common. We're emotional. <laughs> we're emotional people. And we're sensitive. We take things to heart and we think people don't like us. But turn on us. Our friends are going to evolve us up. It, 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 it kind of eats us up inside. So, me, I've been a common. So, anyway, Kate, I. Yes, um, I just want you to, to know how much I care about you, and I hope that I'm changing my a channel on my TV from channel 11 to to channel 166 and putting on sample and stuff. No, um, good time. Sample and stuff going off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so anyway, I just hope that you see this video. I don't know if you're going to see it or not. Now, in my luck, you might not even see it. And I know it's kind of long, but I just want to, you know, for the time being, this is my this is, this is my effort. This is my final message to you for now. Because what's the point of keep doing these things if you're not seeing these things? The ideal to you to watch this and learn what makes me me. Learn how I really feel about you. And I care about you, Kate Stokes, and you wouldn't get anything you want. I care about my degree, bikini, bathing suit, shark shark, push up bras, tank tops, tight jeans, mini skirts, whatever you wear, you look good in. Tank top, no cut glasses, athletic wear. Slut pants, and you look good no matter what color your hair is, and just want to wear your hair. My hair has been a bun, my little clothes down, and a ponytail, and I'm wearing it loose and all, and loose. And, 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 and having your hair braided, you look good, time classy braided your ponytail. Instead of wearing a loose and braided it, you have to get in and clad, you tie your hair into a bow using your hair. To the room, and then you get in a class on her. I need to teach you. It's fun to have you on there. You're an amazing body, and you look so beautiful. So you're going to be like me, so you can show you the beautiful. And I love your pale blue eyes, the village blue eyes. I call me Harris and Dwight. Mm. And it's kind of hard for me to um, be given up on something like, um, you know, giving up time on. I've been a time on a customer for almost 13 years, but I'm getting tired of the politics behind. The company, I mean, they're, they're, I mean, raising up the bill to, I mean, they're like charging me $400 a month on my bill because I moved from one, one apartment, one um, housing, hard to $50. That's, that's crazy. 
and they changed my uh, the day that I paid the bills from the third of the month to the end of the month of the 23rd. I was the broke plan. And now that I'm sleeping the Verizon files, yeah, you know, I have to see how that goes. Um, about us and what we could have had if we had been more closer and they spoke to some more clients and things like that. And I just wish that you and I could see each other again one day and recognize each other. It's kind of sad. You barely recognized me at Dwayne Reed when I saw you. Know, and I barely recognized you. I didn't realize it was you until you walked up the store and I heard your voice and I said thank you. And you went, mm -hmm. and then I went, oh my God, that's crazy. I saw the marbles. I know you by your nose. It was cheap nose. Your nose and your eyes are hard working all day. What threw me off is I saw the acne on your face. You threw me a mile and your face is small if you have no acne. See, that's the thing I like about this thing. You're a celebrity, but you're not like, so famous that you can't even go to Dwayne Reed without people running behind you. So that's the kind of career I want, what you have like, where I can have that kind of career in entertainment, but still have a normal life, where I can go to Dwayne Reed or, or, or go to Walmart or something and not worry about people following me all over the store. I like the level of celebrity with the fame that you have. You don't have to mega rich, mega famous fame yet we when you're walking around with like um bodyguards but like national football league linebackers or national hockey league defensemen or whatever. Or guys who look like SWAT team members carrying weapons and stuff and walking behind you and, and people coming in five feet of you, these guys that like they're gonna fire some rounds and people from looking at you too hard. You don't have a level of fame yet, and that's why I feel the way that I do. Because I feel as long as you still the trait that we all know from class and that people love from Virgin Islands that have a shot with you and they get to know each other. Today you get to that level of fame, and I haven't made anything of myself. I don't want my chances to even be for all those multi millionaire male celebrities chasing you. A wannabe celebrities trying to make it like you, like you currently are. I probably wouldn't stand a chance against those guys if you had to choose between me and them. Once you get to their level of multi-million dollar fame and fortune, See, right now you're just getting your start in the, in the industry through your reality show. So right now you're still approachable. Once you get to that level and then you don't have any contact, I don't know what my chances would be of making a connection with you then. That's why it's best for us to get known each other now before either one of us reaches that level of pain. See, you're a celebrity, but you're also a real person. So what I'm saying, Kate, is it's up to you. If you still have a place in your heart for me, and for whatever crazy reason, you still are holding out hope that one day you and I can be born from a girlfriend and we've been fine for a while. Go for it. Don't, don't give up on me because of a rumor or a lie. I'm not giving up on you because of a rumor or a lie. 
Someday, you and I have a connection with each other. You. You're the person I care about. You're the person I want to be with, okay? So, please find it in your heart to, to think about me and and I, 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 have a connection with each other. And once man you get to know each other better, I would love to take you out on the date. I would love to take you out at night and call the rest of them. I don't care whether it's man you alone or you and some of your fashion industry friends from you made the model. It doesn't matter to me. As long as I get to take you out on the date. I'm going to get the hell in my room. I'm going to get the kiss in the cheek goodnight and you kiss in the cheek goodnight and shake my hand or whatever. Or if you just want to hug me, hug me. I want to take you out of the bed, Kay. I want to feed you. I want to take you out of the bed and feed you. You can feed me. I mean, I don't know you well enough yet to ask you to cook a meal for me, so going out and talking to a public place. You know, like a, a nice part of the restaurant is a good start. And, you know, we could talk to each other, catch up on what's been going on with us since we last seen each other. You know, I really hope to God that you and I, you know, get past this misunderstanding and this rift. This stone is caused by some former classmate lying on the internet about me and making me look bad 
making me look um, like I done something wrong. I would never do that to you. If I care about this shit, you're the only woman I want to be with. I don't want to be with any other woman. You're the only woman I want to date one day. You're the only woman I want to be my girlfriend one day. You're the only woman that one day is because it's something more permanent. You're the only woman I want to be engaged to and married to. You're the only woman I want to someday in the future that happens with that. And you're the only one that I'd want to make love to on the way. When I get myself in shape, lose weight, you know, get on big as loser, you know, if I don't want on the show, I would be one of the runner ups. And then and then me and you and I'd be like the male equivalent of you, a lean muscles and, and rip abs stomach like you and and when I'm the doctor gives me the clearest news, engage in an activity, I make love with you all night long, over and over again. Especially if you put on the line the way first. I was I I'd, I'd be so turned on and around if you stood in front of me in a long way. Or the king. I'd be really turned on. Or a bathing suit on old school, lying the way with a garter belt and a good blue stay plus set and a stock and lead away. It could be the scale like the like the lying the way where you have the phone panel phone with the phone stuck in the behind and, and the front part of the panel covering the front breathing. <laughs> and you have like a mini car set with a with a with a push up bra and it's lacy and whatever. I you know, I like the way you look along the way in some suits. So anyway, okay, I just wanna say that I really care about you a lot. And I hope that you get a chance to see the video because I want you to know that there's no other woman for me but you. I will never be with another woman behind your back. See, there's anybody else. So whatever lie and rumors you spread on the internet about me is not true. And I also know the same thing that you are the threatening of scoffer's nature. That's not who I am. I'm a good man, Kate. It's like you're a good woman. And I hope someday, if I'm lucky enough, you and I can go from being friends to boyfriend and girlfriend, and eventually romantic partners, and eventually, if it's meant to be, lovers. So I just want to say I wish you the best of luck on a new season of Turn to Amish and say hello to your parents and your brothers and sisters and your friends from the Amish show. Tell them I say hi. And where we are, Kate. Good night, and I hope me and you see each other and talk to each other again one day. I really care about you a lot, Kate Stokes. Goodbye for now.